Dodgers suffered in Game 5. Curio was batting a team high 347 in the playoffs with just one strikeout. It was by far his best month of the season, and Dusty Baker said Guriel had tears in his eyes when he realized he couldn't play. The Astros are replacing him at first base with Trey Mancini, who was 0-18 for 18 in the postseason, and they've added a third catcher to their roster, Corey Lee. The addition of Lee protects them if, for some reason, they replace their DH in this game. That's Christian Vasquez. Martin Maldonado also in their lineup, so they're going with both their top catchers. Joe? as they go for the World Series, and what a ride it's been to get to this point. Welcome to the World Series. Riamuto, it's gone! Phillies take game one! Valdez, top point. Cool and call. Valdez gave exactly what they needed. It was all Phillies tonight. Lightning strikes! Right for the Phillies. The Astros have a World Series no-hitter! Justin Verlander gets off the side. In a thriller, 3-2 the final score. And 3-2 is the series as it goes back to Houston. Okay, we'd open with creaky footsteps. Scary music goes all intense. The couple jumps up like, well, what is that? They scream, ah, and you get some money you could save by bundling your home and car insurance. Whoa, <laughs> Money shoots out from drawers, vents from under the bed. The couple screaming. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, right, but wouldn't they be happy about the savings? They're scared of how happy savings make them feel. Oh, of course. See how much you can save by bundling with Geico. What if you were a global bank who wanted to supercharge your audit system? So you tap IBM to unsilo your data and start crunching a year's worth of transactions against thousands of compliance controls with the help of AI. Now you're making smarter decisions faster, operating costs are lower, and everything from your auditors to your bankers feels like a million bucks. Let's create smarter ways of putting your data to work. IBM, let's create. Alexa, can you tell Rumba to clean under the kitchen table? Okay. Quiet. It's Alexa. I knew this day would come. We're cleaning under the kitchen table. Kitchen table, you son of a bitch! Strap in, people. Brace yourself. Understands more voice commands than any other robot. iRobot OS. You got a dog. Uh, When it comes to lasting relationships, we're thinking of every mile. The new Hyundai Tucson. It's your journey. The Sonic's two for five menu. You get two delicious things for only five bucks. Which is helpful if you struggle with decision making. The Sonic two for five dollar menu. Sonic. Look, I think I just need someone more emotionally available. We seemed like a good match, but in person, I'm just getting a lot of mixed signals. It's the bobblehead, isn't it? I love your smile, but I can't do this anymore. I thought you were in home run. Oh, gosh. Max, don't do this. There's a better way to bring the game home. Visit MLBShop.com for your favorite team gear and today's special offer. Dear Santa, I know I asked for a lot last year, but this year is different. I don't want any presents. All I want is the U.S. to win the World Cup. You're the guy that makes green gear fly. You can make anything happen. This is the team that's going to make a run at the World Cup. All we have to do is believe. Last time I checked, that's like your whole thing. You see this? They're smart.
would you play for tonight? A gold-plated trophy? The bling of a ring? Your place in the game? A plaque in the hall? So they'll recall what you were. What you are. Big time. Yeah, you. Chew on this, big time. You've seen it all. Big hit. No help. I want to make a gas. Before you hear is real. On their feet for you. You gotta be cool. Come on. Phenomenal. You had before, or you wouldn't be here. You got a shot to win it all. It's on you, big time. Game six. The World Series. On Fox. Welcome to the 2022 World Series on Fox, presented by Capital One. Game six about to begin. We go to the field with Tom Verducci. Thanks, Joe. Game six. Two words that capture the patience, perseverance, and heartbreak of Dusty Baker. In 2002, his Giants had a 5-0 lead in the seventh inning, ready to capture the World Series, and lost. The next year, his Cubs, trying to win the NL pennant, had a 3-0 lead in the eighth inning, and lost. Last year, his Astros, against the Braves in the World Series, eliminated. Dusty Baker is a man of faith. He's an avid fisherman, a music enthusiast, but it has been defined too much by what's missing. No man has managed more games without winning the World Series. Tonight, his 25-year journey brings him back to a Game 6. A chance to change history, a chance to make history. Yo, Tommy mentioned he's a big fisherman, and he said, you try to get that fish into the boat, those are the toughest moments. Taking the last breath out of anybody is so tough. And who knows the job is far from finished. But he feels like he's got the right man for the job. Frommer Valdez, who started game two, on the mound here for game six. And what a difference a year makes for the youngster. Two games in the World Series last year, he said the emotions got the best of him. He failed to make it through the third inning in either of those starts against Atlanta. But then game two of the World Series against the Phillies, pitched into the seventh inning, and dominated that game just the one run. He's faced them twice over the last month. And John, he struck out 19 over 11 plus innings. This guy's turning into a bulldog, and he has a tremendous sinker, a lot of ground balls, but he has great balance, and really he's learned to have a great heartbeat on the mound. And if you're a game watcher or film watcher, you're gonna wanna do the same thing he did against the Phillies to have that success. Don't change a thing. One up it'll face off with here in game six, will look like this, with Kyle Schwarber to lead it off, and then Hoskins and Real Muto. Harper, Castellanos, and Paul. Jeep Segura is the seventh hitter and second baseman. And with the lefty on the mound, they do go with Beerling and Sosa instead of Marsh and Stock. The interesting thing is his last game, we were talking about, it was his highest velocity he's had all year. So that RPM was revved up. Now you can imagine in a game six, this is where it starts getting, the reality starts getting close. You cannot think about that if you're a game six starter up 3-2. Hard not to, especially when you know the team is one way away from winning the World Series. And you've been on both sides of this, both facing elimination and with a chance to clinch. What's the difference emotionally? Well, emotionally, when you're having an elimination game like, let's say, Wheeler, your room for error is low, your leash is quick, and you just want to pass the baton on to the guy waiting for game seven. If you're, this is, if you're Valdez, this is when you get selfish and say, I don't want anyone else to pitch after this game. And you take it in your own hands. Uh, that's the deepest any pitcher had gone in a World Series game in three years when he took it in game two. Going six and a third, and he faces Kyle Schwarber to get game six started. Normally, I'd say, see how the game's going if you're Kyle Schwarber, but the way that he was pitched to last time, got a lot of fastballs early. I would say, like he did against Berlander, it was the second pitch. But Schwarber should be ready to hit a fastball and miss it back early in the first two pitches. Astros one win away from their second World Series in six years. The Phillies trying to force Game 7. And the man that started Game 5 with a home run spins in. 
Valdez rocks and fires, and off we go with ball one. And immediately, John, we see the home plate player Lance Barksdale not giving front to Valdez a little strike, a pitch that he needs. And Barksdale typically does not give pitchers many low strikes. Right, and what Valdez is going to have to do is just keep the pressure on low in the zone. That's spot back on the play one one. Well, this is what he did last time. He faced him uh, leading off the game, and, and he attacked him with some fastballs, and then later in the game, he's going to miss it, mix it up. But he pitches off the extreme, I say an extreme third base side of the rubber. His toe is barely touching that rubber when he's getting, that's what the angle he wants to create for the movement. I mean, that's the bare minimum right there. That shows you the balance he has. 28-year-old delivers one more oh, pitch. Oh, That's taken low. Well. It's hit soon, but he went around and it's one and two. Mm. A lot of movement, but maybe the barrel stayed behind the plate. On a one-two pitch, Schwarber oh, takes. Oh, he was headed back to the dugout thinking it was strike three. I think everybody thought it was strike three besides the one guy whose opinion matters. Like Sparks did. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, this is a two-step. Not a song. This is not a song, but this is, he's like, okay, all right. He better swing, I think, on this next pitch yeah. at this close. All right, so a gift for Schwarber. Can you take advantage? On 2-2. Two, two. That's ball three. That is the first curveball from Fiber Valdez. Only 12 of the 42 curveballs he threw in game two were in the strike zone, but the Phillies chased half of them. Yeah, they did, and that's that's how good it is, and that's what speaks to him. And he's got to shake that off. He can't let this affect him. Here's his payoff. And he winds up walking shoulder. So perhaps a key call in the first plate appearance of the game, and instead of a strikeout, it's a walk. Well, and I know a pitcher is going to get frustrated because your mind knows that's a strike and you put it to bed already, and he wasn't able to really. He made some good pitches, all right? Now that's strike three, but you got to make a couple good ones. He let that one out of the zone, and then this one inside. But you cannot let this snowball into a big inning. This is where experience will pay off of having gone through certain things before. And that is where Fonda Valdez says the biggest growth has been his ability to move on from things that don't go his way. He immediately deuces a boxing ball to get the out of second and they turn two. Fonda Valdez needs just one pitch to erase it. And it was a good pitch because he knew that Hoskins wanted to get something going. He has been really struggling at the plate and he throws him a good sinker, and all he can do with a good sinker is bounce it to a defense that's outstanding. And that's an outstanding double play. But they've been tracking ground ball rates for 35 years. Framber Valdez has the highest ground ball rate for a starting pitcher since they've been tracking those things. The Phillies in game two only hit three balls in the air. So a lineup that's relied on home runs for a lot of the season. They're facing a guy that limits them better than anybody in the sport. Well, this last at bat that JT had in his last game, they're hoping that that translates into a more typical at bat. Oh, we were talking about it. He needs to go the other way when he did, and how does help him come back in that game? That click of the bat, sometimes the sound, the feeling, can get a hitter going, but it's the approach that'll get him going, and that last at bat was really good. Issues we're talking about. Rio Muto has won for his last 17 of 11 days. <laughs> and again, we talked until you know, this guy, you got to believe in catching every game. Just the battle he's been through has affected him a little bit offensively. Something has to give. Here's the hero in game one here. Tied the game with a double, won it with a homer. Thunder Valdez, Real Muto shoots it down the line, foul one and two. 97 from Valdez. Now, he, again, this will be the game that he has extra day rest, right? I mean, he's ready to go. His sinker's good. The touch is there. 
He passed the first test of a tough at bat to lead off the game, got a double play ball, but he is juiced up, no doubt. Homer to one, two. The reason we talked about in the open is why it's so important for two and three of the Phillies, because they gotta get on for that guy. There hasn't been a lot of action for him, and the, and the Astros have pitched him perfectly, but the reason they could do that is you know, nobody got in front of them for the most part. Well, the Phillies had seven runs in game three, and where they tied a World Series record in five homers for just two runs in two games since. On a 2-2 pitch, Rio Muto takes ball three, and actually that hit him, and he's on. So they do get somebody on in front of Bryce Harper. And this will be interesting with two outs. Uh, they faced each other, obviously, in game two. You see the curveball that catches the top of his foot. When he faced Harper, he threw him a lot of fastballs early and got him out with curveballs late. So will Bryce be ready for a fastball on this first pitch if that's the same game time? He's hitting 373 this postseason. The only game during this postseason when Harper didn't reach base was the one against Valdez. First pitch. Got a fastball. Grounded in right side. Sliding player Jeremy Pena. What a postseason run this kid's having. Scored a stop of the first from Harper Valdez. Astros come to bat. Or you come back. COVID-19 moves fast. And now you can, too, by asking your health care provider if an oral treatment is right for you. Oral treatments can be taken at home and must be taken within five days from when symptoms first appear. If you have symptoms of COVID-19, even if they're mild, don't wait. Get tested quickly. If you test positive and are at high risk for severe disease, act fast. Ask if an oral treatment is right for you. COVID-19 moves fast, and now you can, too. Hell is going on. On November 18, we now offer you the chance to escape every course. The pictures, they're all of us. There's another clue. This game is next level. No part of the menu. The menu. Theaters November 18, for you are. Whopper, 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 Junior, Double, Triple, Whopper, Impossible, or Bacon, Whopper, I rule this day. I'll remember that chapter of my life forever. We laughed. We cried. We protected that progressive home and auto bundle day and night. We were all of us dazzling. Like knights sworn to protect our kingdom. We knew it wouldn't last forever, but that's what made it special. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, right? Yeah, but it'll never be today again. Rosenthal reported off at the top. Yuli Gurriel is not in the game. He injured his knee in game five. So Trey Mancini starts at first base. Christian Vasquez catches. It's the first time all year the Dusty Baker has sent this lineup out there. He does so with the Astros looking to clinch a world championship against the guy they saw in game two in Zach Wheeler. This guy, John, was overpowered. And a big part of the reason the Phillies made it to the World Series. But in his World Series debut, wasn't the same. Yeah, he wasn't the same. He had ran into a little bit of uh, tough luck, too, when you talk about ambush early. And that really set the stage for the game, and he never really was able to recover. His team didn't really score. So 
look for him to make some adjustments early. I, I still, if he went fastball in to Altuve, I would not throw a first pitch fastball in, that's for sure. Yeah, that'd be a good place to start. Yeah. And we're going to be taking a look at the velocity. 97-98 is where Jack Weaver wants to be. He was at a season low, 95 in game two. Here's the guy you were talking about there. It was the first in the ambush. Altuve doubled on the first pitch of the game and came in to score one pitch later. Ball one at 98. Extra day rest and his ability to look at film and see his mechanical adjustments he needs to make. Jose Altuve hitting 346 over his last five games. Watches the strike, 99, and it's 1-1, one and, one. and Altuve to you looks like he's back to be good shot. Yeah, he's hit some mistakes, which has gotten him going, uh, but if you stay outside, you got to make him still beat you to right field. If you're any pitcher in the game today, beat, make him beat you to right field. 1-2, oh. nice looking breaker. I would say he's out a little earlier than normal. For Wheeler, he likes to put that in his back pocket and show it later, but right now, he... He's pitching every inning as if it's his last inning because they're in elimination game. And he knows it and wants to go as deep as he can without his manager taking him out. Home of the one-two pitch. Fastball at 98 and a good sign for Wheeler and the Phillies with that fastball up in the high 90s again. So one gone in this first inning. Here comes the splendid rookie Jeremy Pena who continued his fantastic World Series with a nice defensive play to finish the top of the end. I mean, that's a great play. If Altuve has to make that, he's not going to throw out Harper. And a short hop right in the grass. No big deal. Makes the play and got his team to his plate. Coming off the three-hit game in game five. We hit his fourth home run of the postseason. He's hitting 381 in the World Series. And he's making a push to become the first rookie position player ever to win World Series MVP. He's having a fantastic adjustment. I call it in-bat adjustment, meaning look bad for two pitches and then the two strikes slow everything down. Bounces this one to short at Lindo Sosa. But we're going to see two pitchers that pitch differently in the sense of not only their repertoire, but where they stand on the rubber. We talked about Valdez, farthest part of a third base rubber. Well, you've got Wheeler on the first base side of the rubber. But here's the difference. <laughs> They're going to land close to each other because Wheeler throws across the body, <laughs> which creates that extra spin and hop to the hitter. So even though Valdez pitches a they get close to where they land on opposite sides of the rubber. Across his body on him, that 6 5 frame. Yeah, that's the, that's, we talked about how he goes downhill, and so far the fastball is not skipping a beat, that's for sure. Couple big dudes facing off here. Jordan Alvarez for the bases empty and two gone. Swings the first one in center field, slicing to Kyle Schwarber, he's got it. And on seven pitches, Zach Wheeler with a 1 2 3 first. something better? Will you create something entirely new? Our Dell Technologies advisors provide you with the tools and expertise you need to do incredible things. Because we believe there's an innovator in all of us. I'm the team mascot. Boy, am I running late. But I got lead in my foot and spirit in my fingers. <laughs> And if you have cut rate car insurance, the cost to cover that might tank your season. So get off, Dave. We'll be better protected from mayhem, like me. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jeez. Ironic. Edelman struggling with reception. Two things I ain't dropping. Balls 
and calls. But you need a better network. And Verizon's new Welcome Unlimited plan for just $30 a line. Verizon for $30? Yeah, it's their best unlimited price ever. I'm switching now. And getting the network you want for $30? <gasps> Touchdown! Oh, no! Everyone can get Verizon for just $30 a line. And now's the time to switch, because you'll get up to $960, only on the network America relies on. Verizon. I don't say any of this to frighten you. Robert Bergstrom, he's obsessed. What do you mean, obsessed? Stay the hell away from my family. You're making threats. He's been doing this for years. You could have stopped him. I'm scared. Whatever happens to us, I'll always be my dog. The Venture X card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits, like two times miles on every purchase. The noise canceling. You're being too loud. Thank you. Good choice. Oh, my lucky number. Earn five times miles on flights. Going up? And 10 times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Plus, get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. And maybe see the one and only Taylor Swift. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Dell Technology. Stop at nothing to bring out the innovator in all. And by Capital One, what's in your wallet? Well, game six has been a special one in the World Series. 1975, Carlton Fisk in the bottom of the 12th, willing his ball fair. One of the iconic home runs in World Series history. Second inning, no score. Nick Castellanos leads off against Framber Valdez. It's a double play ball. Get around a leadoff walk in the first inning, and he's in the dirt with a curve to Castellanos. So far, it's been a decent approach by the Phillies, meaning... Valdez has thrown now five curveballs, none for strikes. Rarely do you get back to back takes from this one. Uh, that remains the case. And so when you see those numbers, John, that he really is in the zone with his curveball, it feels like the plan, and it's easier in principle than it is in practice, but it should be don't swing when you see swing. Yeah, but the beauty, you're right. But the beauty of this curveball, it's in the zone a long time, even though it ends up out of the zone. It'd be one thing if he spiked a lot of them and they just were so aggressive swingers. Three straight curves, one and two, in the last two half been destruction. He just has great feel. And the way that he throws, you know, he's a short striding, kind of over the top. Great feel for pitching. I mean, he just puts the hitter in defensive defensive spot because there's nothing mediocre about his pitches that you could sit on. Home of the one-two, it's four straight curves. Castellanos bounces that one just foul, and he was going to reach had that been fair. That's about as close of a last second call you can make for the third base umpire to see this ball last second. He's got hook spins, fair right now, fair right now, fair, and then foul right before the bag. Good call. Whew, that's good. <laughs> ben I is sewing it with conviction. Yeah, and you're getting blocked out by Bregman, so great call there. Really, it's been, it's been a great postseason for the most part. Nothing really, one players are all doing their job. It's a tough job. Nothing really super comp confrontational. Another one two pitch. A pitch ball. ball. And he gets the call down there at the bottom of the zone. One run in the second on his first carry. Let's take a look at the Astros defense here for game six. Up on the plate, Chaz McCormick made in game five in Philadelphia. Flanked by Alvarez and Tucker. Bregman and Pena left side of the infield with Altuve and Mancini. For Trey Mancini, his first start at first base since October 5th. He hadn't played first base period since October 5th when he off of the bench for Gurley up in game five and made a great play to keep the Astros in front. One away, Alec Baum. Line drive, base hit. First hit of the game for the Phillies. And it comes from Alec Baum with one away in the second. Well, 
uh, he got a fastball, and it was down, and he went down with it right up the middle, and that's the approach you got to have. Easier to said than done when you come up with game plans on paper, execute them totally differently. A man aboard for Gene Segura, who takes a strike, and the Phillies are hoping that his true hit performance in game five is a sign of things to come. There's one for his previous 17. He's been struggling against fastballs. Got both those hits in game five against Peters. One one. Stop Maldonado. The Astros went away from the second World Series with the recent cautionary tale of 2019, and they're in the same position. Back home with a 3-2 lead over the Nationals in the match to being 6 and 7. One and two. The Phillies really built their whole identity on coming back within the season. From eight games below 500, they reach the postseason. Within games, when this postseason's dotted with comebacks, most recently came one of the World Series, come down 5 0. They're now within a series, down 3 2, facing elimination. Can the fight and Phils do it one more time? to Segura with a 1-2. It's a late swing to send that one foul. We're talking about this umpiring crew. It's done a nice job in this World Series. Lance Barksdale gets home plate today with the crew chief Dan Isoni out down the third. Phillies order trying to get it down here. Leverage first one gone, one two pitch. Segura fouls off the curve. Segura, as we talked about, is just so short and quick to the ball. Doesn't look like it's something you would teach most hitters, but man, does he get it done and he can find the barrel and get a lot of base hits. In a lot of ways, he's kind of embodied these Phillies this year. Flawed. Good fun, and more and more, and you add it all up, the good outweighs the bad when it comes to Jim Segura and with this Phil's team this year. And it's been traded four times. And he found himself on a postseason team during his 11th year. Well, the first one gone, no score, second inning. A one-two pitch again, and it's in the dirt for ball two. Side of the plate, really pulling his breaking ball. And you've seen already hit batsmen on the foot. You've seen a lot of them missed in that area. He also has the capability of backdooring that pitch, but he's completely connected to it. And of course, he can throw that slider a little firmer pitch if he feels like they're laying off the big break. He has loved that big break with a curveball. This postseason, more than 40% of his pitches have been the curve. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. It is pretty high as the curveball falls from the heavens to get Segura. That's exactly what I was talking about, the backdoor variety. Even though that caught the middle of the plate, it started out and up. And when it comes out of your hand right there, the hitter's saying, that's a ball. There's no way that's coming back down. Too late to pull the trigger. And he can get those calls when, he, when he's spinning it and not spiking it. Going to get a lot of strikes. Four strikeouts. Four strikeouts on that curveball than any curveball in baseball this year. Two out second inning. Matt Veerly. That's on the postseason has been hard to come by. He starts against left handed pitchers. He's gone two for 12. 1 0.
Curry, 26 years old, out of St. Louis. Debuted late last season, performed well. This is his first full year in the major leagues. So really got it going down the stretch. And a while from Valdez. Fielding oh, takes ball two. Fifth year has gotten better and better. And he misses ball four. Four pitch walk to the eight hitter Veerling. Second walk issued by Valdez. Well, it's been an incredible series, and you still have a chance to win 25 grand at Big Poppy's money tonight. All you need to do is pull out your phone, get the free Super 6 app now, and then enter your six picks for tonight's game. Now puts him at first and second for the Phillies, and John May, throughout this postseason run, has been really good with runners in scoring position until late, where they've gone one for their last 23. Yeah, they hit a dry spot at the wrong time, and Valdez facing so for the last time to a ton of breaking balls. I mean, almost every pitch, with the exception of three, were curveballs. So see if he stays with that same plan. Sosa, bigger, longer swing. If he gets a curveball up in the zone, that's the one he can do the damage. Bowman second, really in first. Only the fourth start of the postseason for Edmundo Sosa. Got a first pitch fastball and fouled it off. So there was some thought early on in this World Series that against Alaska, against Valdez, Bryson Stott was going to play. But since then, Scott's gone 0 for 13 during the World Series. So, Bob Thompson does what he's done the rest of the postseason, and that is go for the platoon advantage here. 0-1. A breaking ball is golf to left center field. Alvarez back onto the track. Up the wall. He's got it. The puck just large enough to hold it. Sky is scraping dry from Edmundo Sosa. It falls harmlessly into the glove of Alvarez. Middle two in game six. No score. We'll make a new bet around every two seconds. Not only on the game, but on the game of life. Betting that love is just a swipe away. Betting on picking up that curious hitchhiker carrying a bowling bag. And betting that he doesn't turn out to be a cornhole prodigy. Every moment in life is a bet. But life doesn't offer you up to $1,000 back in free bets if you don't win. So bet on America's number one sports book, FanDuel. And make every moment more. It's so nice you guys could stop by. Your floors are amazing. We really need new floors, but the kids and the dogs. These are waterproof and scratch resistant from LL Flooring. But Gary's so tight with the budget. It's actually a lot less than we thought. This is nice. It's time to love your floors. Lumber Liquidators is now LL Flooring, your expert from inspiration to installation. Right now, save up to 15% on waterproof floors. How did we get here? Low wages, high inflation, record crime, illegal immigration from places as far away as Pakistan. Our cities are a mess. Public services are a nightmare. But instead of helping us, Joe Biden has sent $66 billion to Ukraine, weapons worth billions more. And now, Joe Biden says his fight in Ukraine could lead to nuclear Armageddon. World War III. You know what I see? No mas. Citizens for Sanity paid for this ad. The virus that causes shingles is sleeping in 99% of people over 50, and it can strike at any time. 
think you are not at risk, wake up, because shingles could wake up in you. If you're over 50, talk to your doctor or pharmacist about shingles prevention. Experience the peripheral. You're inside the peripheral. Parties on that body as if it were your own. A new form of time travel. The peripheral. Connect to the future. Now streaming only on Prime Video. Looks like we're in a screensaver. We need to go higher. Higher. <laughs> Oh, I'm going high. Yeah. This should go even higher. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I'm good. Adventure elevated. Discover more in the Subaru Outback Wilderness. Love. It's what makes Subaru Subaru. Subaru is the National Park Foundation's largest corporate donor. Sosa's thinking, man, if I steer that one about 15 feet to the left, I got a bomb in the World Series. But instead, this thing's nothing, nothing. And Alex Bregman leads off against Zach Wheeler, who continues where he was at in first inning with that fastball up 98-99. Good fast for four-seam life. He's gone into Bregman a few times in the previous meetings. Goes in here. Bounce to Sosa. He's of the first four. Well, Sosa got the curveball that I was talking about, and it looked like for a minute this collective crowd held their breath as the big left fielder put the ball in his glove, and that was close to a huge moment in this game. He's watching his play right now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> got back there pretty calmly, looking pretty smooth. Right? But one gone in the second inning, Kyle Tucker. This is the guy, if I'm Wheeler, throughout the game, I don't mess with runners on. I mean, this is the guy you got to pitch around in the lineup. Oh, he shows the blind, pops it back out of play. The reason I'm saying that, even though Vasquez is behind him, the bottom part of this lineup right now, beyond Tucker, anything you get out of them based on their performances so far will be a bonus. So an elite pitcher is going to look at that scorecard and go, okay, this is not a disrespect to them. I'm circling these guys because that's where I need to go to get out if I get into a gym. Tucker, who hit two home runs in the first game of this World Series, has struggled since. The All-Star takes inside, and it's one and one. The Astros, as a team, have hit just enough. It's kind of been what the story's been all season for. Elite pitching and enough offense. They've scored 18 runs in five games. Lead the series three games to two. <laughs> Perfect. One and two. And when he's doing that, there's not a, a hitter in the universe that's going to be able to hit that pitch. And you've already seen what adrenaline and knowing that this is your last start of the year will do for you. The velocity's back to where it was before. Abandoned it as well. On one, two. This is up and away. And the other thing is he's actually thrown because he trusted it so little in game two that he threw it less than he has in his three years with Philip. Right, exactly. And you just saw one of the few times he gets underneath the ball. When you get underneath the ball, you throw an upshoot fastball that's a non competitive pitch. You can still throw it up and stay on top of the ball. It is 2 2. Just went foul. Another 2-2 from Zach Wheeler. It is hit down the line. Hooking. Foul. Zach was trying to get that to the back foot, and that breaking ball was a little late and a little flat. And he's lucky that uh, Tucker pulled it foul. But this breaking ball is supposed to be down. See how it rolled in the strike zone? And that long, adjusted swing of Tucker hooked the foul. 
So it stays 2-2 on Tucker. Zach Wheeler rocks and fires. Oh, that's all right. Try to come for the back door and miss. He tried to throw a backdoor cutter and catch the outside part of the plate. You see on the side of the ball, if that thing breaks a little bit more, it's got to get the call strikeout. Well, the guy you said you would circle in the lineup is really making work. This will be the eighth pitch to Kyle Tucker. It's a 3-2, and it's a fastball. It's a foul. fastballs. This is who Zach Wheeler is. His identity is power pitcher. And that's what he was over the first four games of the postseason when he struck out 25, walked only three. Trying to find it again when his team needs him most. Nine pitches to the first four hitters. His ninth to Tucker alone. He'll be a 10. battle and the one thing he does is he does a lot of movement in the box for his timing. I see it's almost as if he doesn't have traction with his spikes and he's trying to get traction but he's always moving the back foot and really rocking until he gets ready to hit. Get a chance to see it a little bit. Oh, I don't have a good no, no, it's not, no, wait and then right about now he'll get ready. He's like a horse ready to take <laughs> off. <laughs> On the 10th pitch, Tucker okay. takes ball four. <laughs> Impressive stuff from Kyle Tucker in the first base runner of the game for Houston. Well, that was a pretty lock in at bat once he got the two strikes. This pitch should have been swung at. If you're Wheeler, you're going, I just painted a slider, cutter, inside half. And the guy who swings a lot should have gotten it. But now we're going to work the bottom of the lineup and see if he can work through that. And the uh, DH today, Christian Vasquez, with the Lednes Diaz at one for 22 in the postseason overall. And David Hensley, not a good matchup against Zach Wheeler. We've already got Mancini in the lineup filling in for Guriel. It's the second Vasquez who does the DH. Now, the one thing Vasquez, he, he had a few years ago his power stroke where he hit a lot of home runs. He still got that. And he tracks the breaking ball pretty well, especially down. You would think that would be the kryptonite to a lot of right-handed hitters. But you gotta be careful with that breaking ball. You gotta really, if you if you hit it well low, that means you can swing over the top when it bounces. Tucker aboard with one away. First one to Vasquez. Oh, oh, he swings at a ball that might have hit him if he did. That fastball, angry movement inside for strike one. Ah, uh, you're not going to see too many guys follow pitch off right here. Watch this. Could have got the belt buckle. No, we got the inside part. But I'm saying that ball almost could have hit him had he not swing. Right at him. Wow. Get off me, ball. His strikeouts are going to be inner half, inner third. That's where he was going on the first pitch. Oh, it's in. Christian Vasquez has only started two games in this first season, but in one of them, he knocked in two, and another, he caught a no hitter in the World Series. Looking to make the most of another start here. Tucker first has good wheels, good base stealing. It's got to be a high fastball. Ooh. It's a low fastball. Ground to the short. Six, four, three. And a double play finishes off the second. Zach Wheeler has faced the minimum through two in game six. A corona and palm trees. Huh. A corona and calm seas and a bomb breeze and some long knees strong like a tongue squeeze you'll say oh geez when i make your lawn freeze was that good no oh. it was incredible oh 
equally bad. Oh. But this, this is good. I should have wrapped. This new tent's amazing. Yeah. And it was easy to pay off the low rates on that platinum card from Navy Federal Credit Union. Can't imagine where we'd be without them. Take a picture. I'm stuck! <laughs> Is that the new iPhone? Yep, I just got the new iPhone 14 with its amazing camera at T-Mobile. Oh, the new! Just switch to T-Mobile and you can get iPhone 14 with Apple TV Plus included. And so much more. I'm talking over $225 in benefits every month. Wow! At T-Mobile, get iPhone 14 on us with Apple TV Plus included. Part of over $225 in benefits every month on Max Family Plans. <laughs> <laughs> Still not confident about which used car to buy? Nope. Why not ask the most confident person you know? My old high school coach. <sighs> this one's got talent. Toughness. The will to win. Let me coach you on this. Just say, show me the Carfax value. You'll get the most accurate price based on the vehicle's accident history. Look for me and stop overpaying. Shop at the all-new Carfax.com. During Walmart's Black Friday Deals for Days, every Monday is a huge deal. Get a $79 HP Chromebook, plus other hot deals. Join Walmart Plus and you can shop online seven hours early. Head to Walmart's Black Friday Deals for Days. Get a free Doritos Locos Tacos only on the app now by signing up for Taco Bell Rewards. And join our fans as they use Kyle Schwarber's World Series Steal to run up the score on free tacos. Steal a base, steal a taco. Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Taco Bell. Steal a base, steal a taco is back. And by Corona Extra. Find the fine life. Live La Vida Mas Fina. Game six in 86. It gets through Buckner. The Mets win it. And win game seven to keep the Red Sox drought going. Kyle Schwarber to the plate. We'll go to the field with Ken Rosenthal. Well, guys, we've talked a lot about Kyle Schwarber's leadership. He and David Robertson, most postseason experience on the Phillies. They both spoke briefly to the team after game five, saying, guys, it's not supposed to be easy. Play our game one pitch at a time. And this is the guy here in Schwarber County who's been in this exact situation of four before, of course, with the Cubs in 2016. They were down 3-1, and then eventually down 3-2 on the road for game six and seven, and they went into Cleveland, and we don't know how that went. So passing on that experience. Walked his first time against Valdez, who's issued two of those and hit a bat. Schwarber oh. takes ball two. There's statements you always hear in the postseason that drive me crazy because they're not as, they sound good, but they don't live up to their, ah, we got nothing to lose, the pressure's on them, our back's against the wall, blah, 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 that's BS. Any team that feels that way usually doesn't come out on top. And on the flip side, you got two games at home to win one. Now, nah, you really have one game at home to win one. Because if you go to a game seven, anything can happen. So if I'm the Phillies, that's what I'm saying. Force a game seven, their advantage is gone. And that's why when you're up 3-2, how like this, Dusty Baker talked about how hard it is to close the teams out for that simple reason. Because you do feel like, oh, give us two games to win one, we're good. In the regular season, yeah. But in the postseason, it's so much different. So on pitch, Schwarber takes right to the last time John with a lost game six, and then won game seven. 25 years ago, yeah. 1997 Marlins against the Indians. First in manager, Rob Thompson, has gotten this far. Your manager Rob Thompson has gotten this far. Schwarber starts the third. And it's six that three. That almost 
looked like Strobel was looking for another pitch, didn't get it in the guessing game, and just got completely froze by the pitch on the outside. Going into this inning, Valdez had not thrown any four seamers or change-ups. Looked for that to change a little bit as far as that change-up coming into play as the game plays on. And now back into that part of the order that you've pointed out, the Phillies have to have to have a shot. Strike on Hoskins. Yeah, they, they've got to do anything. Walk, hit batsmen like Rio Muto was able to do. But th this part of the lineup is supposed to be the meat, and the offense clips through Harper. No but when your two most reliable right-handed hitters are slow, something gets them going. A bloop, a crack, a crack bat, an infield hit. One ball, one strike. Reese Hoskins takes a curve low. The Phillies can at least take some comfort or some hope out of the idea that Reese Hoskins' best games this postseason have come after his worst. And he's coming off an 0 for 5 game with four strikeouts. For a defensive play comes from the We look back to the division series. There's a defensive play that cost him a run and the loss in the ground. And he comes back and hits a 3-1 home run. Championship series has another three strikeout game only to follow that with three home runs over the next 48 hours. And pick himself up again. He's worked it full here. He's worked it full, but this is going to be a key. If he expands the strike zone here on 3-2, he's still got to stay disciplined. If you're Valdez, you think he's going to swing, you can throw anything you want if you think he's going to swing. It's a fastball. It's bounced to third, but it's just foul. It's the second one, John. We've had right down there on that line. Another one down the line, almost identical. Wow. The, that one. I mean, that is like an eighth of an inch. It's like a credit card. Yeah, nice. Sony right on both. So these Hoskins are set it back in for another 3 2 pitch. No score in the third inning of Game 6. Phillies trying to force Game 7. Astros will win away. Valdez turns and deals. Hoskins watches his right three. Curveball for Zimmer to get him. break from top to bottom and if you're sitting at home you have no idea how hard this pitch is to make up your mind thinking that's got to be a ball I'm not going to expand the zone and then it drops in for a strike that's what makes him so tough and that's why he keeps the ball in the ballpark by the way if you're sitting on that pitch it's a different thing like hey i'm going to sit on a curveball you see that you might be able to think curve misses the real move so last time proper valdez gave up a home run in this ballpark which july 3rd that's amazing. Only 11 of them all year in 200 innings. One and one. The guy who didn't get a pro contract until five years after he was eligible to get one for the Minnesota Republic. An anonymous prospect to an intriguing one with that curveball. Debuted when he was 24. The first couple of years, though, wasn't like he showed up and was dealing. He had an ERA above five his first two years. He was back and forth between the big leagues and AAA. Didn't become a full-time starter until 2020. And now his third year, all-star for the first time. And their hopes up in the World Series. His 2-1 pitch is a fastball for strike two, and that is played up over the first few innings. It's just amazing because he, he doesn't look like he could possibly throw 97 as effortless as he makes it look, and it's just on the hitter. And the hitter is trying to get a mistake. I don't have many to make so far.
2 2. Strikes out the side. near and narrow but people don't really say that we get the deals you get the good stuff marshall's back when i had a working circulatory system you had to give your right arm to find great talent but with upwork there's high skill talent from all over the globe right at your fingertips it's where businesses meet great remote talent and remote talent meets great opportunity This is how we work now. My relationship with my credit cards wasn't good. I got into debt in college, and no matter how much I paid, they followed me everywhere. Between the high interest, the fees, I felt trapped. So I broke up with my credit card debt and consolidated it into a low-rate personal loan from SoFi. I finally feel like a grown-up. Break up with bad credit card debt. Get a personal loan with no fees, low fixed rates, and borrow up to 100K. Go to SoFi.com to view your rate. SoFi, get your money right. Right, there's something on the ship. There's something with us here. Oh my God. Get to the escape pods. Go now! Okay, I'm an alien. And I got these claws. I'm climbing the wall now. If you're making a sci-fi movie, you need to finish the special effects. Does that look good? And if you want to save by bundling home and car insurance, you need Geico. Geico? Uh-oh. See how much you could save by bundling with Geico. Is that going to be a problem? Got the cheesesteaks in one city, you got the Tex Mex here. In Houston, where we go to the bottom of the third in game six. It is Trey Mancini to lead off. Bottom of the order for the Astros against Zach Wheeler. Mr. Baker's message to Mancini, go be aggressive. He is strike one. Aggressive at fastball at 99. Hey, well, we got a chance. I'm going to give a shout out to Braden Scott. He's dealing with some tough stuff, young boy. Diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Originally from Houston, big baseball fan. We're pulling for you and praying for you, young man. A one pitch to Mancini is bounce foul. He's got a great guy to look up to here for inspiration. And Mancini, absolutely. Two years removed from beating stage three colon cancer and playing in the World Series. His whole focus was on beating cancer. He wasn't thinking about getting back to play for his small, but he beat it. He got back, and he's doing what he says. It still doesn't feel real at this point. And a tough spot here against Wheeler, starting the third. Here's an 0-2. A good take. That's where he's been really vulnerable and aggressive, so that's a good take. And if he can stay stubborn on two of those, because you can back that right back up with your Wheeler just to tease him even more to say, okay, you took that one, but can you take the next one? Outside of the festival. One strikeout, one walk, no hits against Zach Wheeler so far. Feels 2 2. Cracks his bat, that's foul. Let's see if he's still alive, but the bat's not. Go get a new one. goes and gets a new piece of lumber. 
Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Geico. Switch today and see all the ways you can save. See a lot of big time baseball in this ballpark in recent years. Fourth trip to the World Series in six years. Trying to win it all for the first time since 2017. He's got to do that. Waits on this 2 2. Best ball. Shots a right place hit. Trey Mancini with his first hit of the postseason to open the third. It snaps in all for 18 and understandably brings a big smile to his face. Yeah, no surprise. Wheeler, after throwing the one breaking ball, didn't go back to another breaking ball. And that fastball, he was able to get to it and at least hit it the other way. So an already bonus for the Houston bottom of the lineup. Wheeler maybe wishing to have gone back to the breaking ball. Sigh of relief for Trey Mancini. Only in the lineup because Zuli Gurriel is out with the injury. And he's the first man to get a hit against Zach Wheeler. Now Chaz McCormick takes ball one. McCormick, one of the heroes of Game 5, with the defensive play that not many people had any business making. McCormick happens to be at his best when he's back into his left, and that's where he had to go to make the catch of his life. Robin J.T. Realmuto, extra bases in the ninth inning. He too likes the fastball down. broke his bat as well and so McCormick in the ninth inning he set off of the bat he thought this ball was gone he got to the wall in time to time that jump up laid there on the ground for a moment and he said he looked up at Phillies fans and saw their faces and he flashed back to when he says he was one of them as a 13 year old when the Phillies lost the World Series to the Yankees and one of the fans that was sitting there looking back at him got this picture of uh, the imprint on the dirt how cool is that shot Really cool. And if the Astros are hoping the same result happens here, one broken bat by Mancini, you got a new one, it was rewarded. Broken bat here by McCormick, maybe the new one will be better. McCormick said as he's laying there after that catch, he just felt like a dream. Felt like for everybody was laying there before he got up. Soaking it all in. City that he's from. With that new bat, swings and misses. So we go down to Tom Verducci. Yeah, I talked to Chaz about that picture you just saw of his dirt angel, if you will, on the morning track. He couldn't believe how clear it was. And actually said, I'm not even sure if that is real. But he said, if we win tonight, I am framing that and putting it on a wall. Looks like something out of a museum. Chaz Chop, they've started doing here in the last couple of years. I love Chaz McCormick. He leaves a fastball upstairs and the even two and two. They did last season a platoon player for the better part of his two years in the major leagues. At one point this summer was getting sent down to AAA. They called him back because of an injury. He has seen center field here in this postseason run. On a 2-2 from Zach Wheeler. He takes ball three. to make his first pitch of the game because if he were to get two runners on in the bottom part of the lineup, that brings up the meat of the order coming up. And the recipe for Houston's been pretty simple the last two games. So the top five guys have really delivered offensively. That's why this part of the lineup, Zach has to go through. You can't create a lot of traffic for Altuve. And Sunni single on the corner, on 3-2. Braces down and a roll it back to Wheeler. Out at second. Safe at first. The degree of difficulty for Zach Wheeler right here is pretty incredible. This bat, if we're not mistaken, went right over his head. So survive and then make the play. Watch. The bat goes right over your head. He has the presence to pick it up. You can understand the throw is not perfect because he's got a bat flying over his head. <laughs> And he's able to make that play. Great pitch, great concentration, and almost 
doubled up a really fast runner. He's going to have enough uh, wood for a bonfire here. So he's broken yeah. three bats in these uh, two last at bats. So he does get the first out. Now the nine hitter, Maldonado. And Maldonado has twice been able to have a hit and run slash base hit to right field when a runner's been on first in motion. Oh, track one. Thirty-six-year-old in his twelfth season, looking for his first ring. Formic offers says the one comes home from Wheeler. All the auto takes inside one and one. You see Wheeler really trying to get inside to most of these hitters. That's where he likes to throw his seam, two-seamer. He's got great action in there, and that is why we're seeing some broken bats as well. Don't you love that as a pitcher? He breaks somebody in, kind of like a oh, Orient feeling. There's nothing better other than double play, but they almost got both at the same time. Top of the order looms as he fires the 1-1 pitch. Bounce gently, and it has got a hurry, just in time, and he can thank his lucky stars that the catcher was running. I'll say, that is understandable for Maldonado, who's squatting behind the plate, and then you're asking him to beat out an infield hit. Good credit to Bone. He took his time, didn't really have to feel like there was a panic, bare hand throw and get him out. Just barely down. All right, so runner in scoring position for Jose Altuve. And John, one of the more stunning stats of his postseason is that even as Altuve has gotten it going lately, he still does not have an RBI. Now, part of that was when he was going bad, expanding the zone and swinging at bad pitches. When you have runner in scoring position, typically the pitcher feels the stress and might make a mistake and you take advantage of it. One ball, no strikes. Altuve struck out his first time. He's starting this postseason one for 28. He's hitting 346 over his last five. Longest tenured Astro, the face of this great run. Trying to put him in front in game six. He's ahead 2-0. Uphill with those fastballs, two in a row now. On this 2-0 pitch, for me, Altuve would have to hit a breaking ball here. I can't afford to come in the zone with a guy who loves to swing and rarely takes two pitches in a bat in a row, yet alone two. So we'll see if Wheeler tries to spin something on the outside part of the plate with a base open. The going off with those back-to-back takes. Now on 2-0, it's pinpoint and strike one and three straight takes from those. Yeah, and that was pinpoint. And he made an absolute perfect fastball on the outside part of the plate. A little cutting action on this one. Cormac in second, two gone, third inning. Two one pitch. Altuve. Strike two. All fastballs, two and two on Altuve, and you'll notice the last couple pitches, JT started out in and then moved away. See that? That's in case the runner's given location, so you kind of deke the location. The pitcher knows where it's going to be, and at the last second, the catcher gets to the desired spot, and two great pitches. Down in the count, 2-0 now even. Spoiler skin here on thin ice with a two-out chance for Altuve. Fouls it off as Wheeler sticks with the hard stuff against one of the best in the game at hitting fastballs. Now we talked about that lack of forcing. Fastballs the first time at 14%. This are already at 42%. And that's his opponent's forcing. He feels like he's got it back. So he's thrown out two days. He strikes him out. Sticks with the fastball and ends the third. 
Zach Wheeler, three scoreless innings in game six. Bryce Harper, due to lead off the fourth. Peaceful state. Full plate. Wait, are you my blind dude? Dancing crew, a trip for two. Now the final interview. Bye for lease. Masterpiece. Inside joke. Artichoke. Game with Doug. Brand new mug. Come here, kid. Give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. Boosters designed for COVID-19 variants are now available. Brought to you by Pfizer and BioNTech. This is Antonelli's Cheese Shop. And we're the Antonelli's. Do good, eat good. That's our mission. We chose our Spark Cash Plus card from Capital One because it gives us unlimited 2% cash back on everything we buy. And it has no preset spending limit, so our purchasing power adapts to our business needs. We use our 2% cash back to help cover our employees' health care costs. That's how we take care of our most valuable asset. Our people. It may sound cheesy, but we like it that way. What's in your wallet? After my stroke, I was just grateful to see Giselle and our kids. Across Pennsylvania, I keep seeing families that don't have enough time to focus on each other. They're struggling, left behind. We gotta make it easier for people to spend time with those they love. Politicians spend so much time fighting about the things that don't matter. I'll always be focused on what does. Access to healthcare, lower costs, good jobs. More time with those we love. I'm John Fetterman and I approve this message. Buying a home? Rocket Mortgage will cover 1% of your rate for the first year. At no cost to you. Saving you hundreds, even thousands. With Inflation Buster. That's more mini vacations. A lot more lattes. More date nights. Plus, if rates drop within three years of your home purchase, you get exclusive savings when you refinance with Rate Drop Advantage. That's more cash in your pocket. Save when you buy today and refinance tomorrow. Visit InflationBuster.com to get started. Did you know Google makes the phone? Don't be fooled by the outside, though. Sure, it's beautiful, but its real power is inside, where it does things other phones can't do, which is how it takes stunning photos in the dark, and why it can edit annoying items out of pictures, or shoot extreme close-ups and unblur faces, why it'll even put some of that genius in your ears, or on your wrist. Beautifully, of course. Introducing the new Google Pixel Watch, Google Pixel Buds Pro, and our newest Google Pixel phones. A breakfast croissant plus seasoned potatoes for three bucks? And they're red shirting you? It's just a standard work shirt. Hey, let us stay humble, man. Thank you, Mitch. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal. Get your game on at MLBShop.com. Authentic on-field caps, tees, hoodies, and more. All your postseason Astros and Phillies gear at the official source, MLBShop.com. Part of the order for the Phillies, no score. The fourth, Bryce Harper leads off. First pitch, curve, strike one. And from a game planning standpoint, of course, before the series, they both said, look, Harper's the hottest guy in the universe. We've got to take care of him. They, for the most part, have. Going into this game, 14 out of 21, we mentioned, he came to the plate with nobody on. Now, that, that might not seem like that much. That's a ton when you're talking about the fourth hitter in the lineup. It's a little bit high, and we go down to Tom Verducci. Yeah, you might have noticed between each pitch, the setup routine for Bryce Harper, always the same. Touching the ground there. He started this, he told me, last year after he was hit in the face by Hennis Carrera of the Cardinals on a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. It's a little meditative moment to get in touch with the ground and quiet himself. On a 1-1, one -one, these are buckled. 1-2. All spin so far from Valdez this time. That MVP of last year is that much more impressive. Yeah. Consider that he had that happen a month into the season. He just overcome the fear that he must have felt. He came back better than ever. On a one two pitch, Harper gets another breaker and takes it. Ball two. Now, if Valdez wants to, yeah, we haven't seen many four seamers, but to climb the ladder up with two strikes wouldn't be the worst pitch in the world after Harper's seen so many slow pitches and that internal radar gun that hitters have with their eyes this pitch at 96 or 97 would look like 101 and there's not so many times in this postseason where he's seen this many non-fastballs at any point 
75 percent of the pitches that he's seen in this World Series have been fastballs. On a 2-2, Harper. This one's a misses. It was a fastball and it was in on him. And struck out number six for Harper Valdez, including his fourth in a row. This is so nasty after seeing breaking ball, breaking ball, breaking ball, and then he eats him up. Two seamer and eats him up. Look at the movement. It's right down the middle, and it ended up being a ball. And Harper tried to get it before it got him. And no luck. That is now 25 Ks for Framber Valdez in 15 innings against the Phillies over the last one. Strike on Castellanos. You know, figure that the more times you see a guy, yeah. the more information you've gathered, the more comfortable you're going to be, but so far, more the same. I mean, he's locked in. I mean, and what could have gotten him off the tracks, really, seriously, in that first batter from Kyle Schwarber after a walk. Last year, maybe he wouldn't have reacted the way he reacted this year. 0 oh, 2. Sports psychology staff, a lot of encouragement from his manager. This was one of the most important moments of his career. Is one of the first conversations he had with Dusty Baker. When he was still trying to break in, and Dusty said, "Hey, you got a chance to be a big-time pitcher for us. I believe in you. Now you got to believe in you." His 0-2. Drag left side and foul. disparity between his slowest pitch and fastest pitch is pretty dramatic because as I talked about each hitter kind of gauges in time they have their own timing mechanism and when they think they've got something timed and it's by them that is a that messes with your mind and it starts becoming a little defeated when you think I had that time but I had no chance and he's messing with all the hitters timing in a very important way 0-2 to Castellano, strike foot, misses, 1-2, 97, he showed a moment ago, it's the hardest pitch that he's thrown this year, he normally averages 94, it's a lot of separation right there, yeah. 78 to 94, but with the movement, he's got the velocity today too. Shakes a few times. Step off. Now, 19 miles. That's the spread between fastball and the slowest pitch. Is one two. Oh no! Did it go? No swing. Two and two. Hit it on the bounce. Again, I don't know that he'll do this, but he could tie up Castellanos upstairs. Good low ball hitter. Will chase the curve ball down. That's why it's enticing to do. And there you see it right there, just about eight inches above the plate but he would most certainly tie him up with any heater up above his belt and possibly beat him. Here's a 2-2. Fastball, poke down the line. Yeah, he was late. If he could have got it up higher, then that would have been more of the swing and miss. But now he's at least reset him. What I mean by reset him, he's got that area of the pitch up that he went and swung at down the middle. Now a breaking ball off that same height 
might entice a swing out of the zone here on a 2-2 count. Big pitch coming to Nick Castellanos. Scoreless fourth inning. Another 2-2 from Fumber Valdez is in the dirt. It's too low. And it's the right idea, but he started it too low, and he knows it. He still has an aggressive hitter on a 3-2 count, so you still don't have to just throw a strike here. He makes a better breaking ball pitch here on 3-2. It would be hard for Castellanos to not want to swing it. Payoff pitch. Spoils it. But see what I'm saying? Like, that's a guy you put down on your scorecard and go, he doesn't want to walk right now. And if he doesn't want to walk, I don't have to throw a lot of strikes. Now, he did get him to three and two, so he's done something right. But that pitch was by far ball all the way, and he fouled it off. How about Castellanos, though, John? Look at these long at bats. Yeah, he's getting games. closer and closer to the hitter that I think, again, next year is going to be a total different hitter for the Philadelphia Phillies. He was a beast the last couple of years. Hit 34 homers, above 300 average last year with the Cincinnati Reds. Only 12 home runs in his first year with the Phillies, and none so far in the postseason. Another 3-2. Three, three call. One off of the inside corner to ring him up. Cassiano's got to be careful here. Although he certainly has case. Yeah, he has some beef for a fine spark still. Uh, Cassiano's taller hitter, and he knows that that ball's down and possibly inside. But the little hesitation and fastball definitely off the plate. He's going to go back and check that iPad and be verified. But an incredible bat, and now five strikeouts in a row. And now we have Cassiano saying, that's why I swing all the time. Right? I finally, I'm patient. I have a good take, and it means I strike out. Two up, two down, fourth inning. Alec Baum, who's got the lone hit of this game for the Phillies. Hit it in the first pitch, his last time. First pitch here. Here's a curve for a strike. Maldonado, before that pitch, just giving his starter more of an encouragement. Come on, come on, let's go. Guy Dusty Baker says is his general. Fly to right. No big deal for Kyle Tucker. That's a one, two, three, four, 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 three, but your roommate just took up percussion as a hobby. You need to drum up a new job quick and get out of here. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. An Indeed resume is more than a resume. It makes it easy to personalize your job search and even helps the right job find you. I see you're willing to relocate for work. Yes. Find your fish, man. I'm killing you. Black Panther, Forever, EPG 13, November 11th. Rated mature. We need an army. Oh, get an army. No one fights alone. Available now. Online personal styling. What's that? That's Stitch Fix. And how can you help me? We do the shopping for you. How do you know what I like? And what fits. You tell us your size, budget, and style. Wait, is it a subscription? No commitment required here. And I only pay for what I keep? Yep. I live in denim. Can you send me jeans? We've got you. What about shoes? Mm -hmm. Style for me? For me? For me? For me. Always. We'll pick the clothes. You enjoy the great fit. Stitch Fix. There's nothing like hitting the waves. There's nothing like volunteering. But my moderate to severe eczema can make it hard. Now, I'm staying ahead of it. To fix it helps heal your skin from within, so you can have clearer skin and noticeably less itch. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Ask your doctor about to fix it.
The people's champ bringing us back from break. One of these two teams going to be champs at the end of this weekend. Both pitchers locked in so far. Yeah, they're both executing extremely well. And of course, Wheeler probably doesn't have as many pitches because he's still got another half an inning to pitch. And I would expect Haney to be really aggressive on this first pitch to see how Wheeler attacks it. Wheeler comes home. Jeremy Pena is aggressive. He's got a base hit on the first pitch of the fourth. And every time I think somebody's aggressive, it usually calls for an off-speed pitch. But Pena got a fastball up as he's done all postseason, delivering as if he's a 10-year veteran. Ball's up, gets on top of it. Every game in this World Series, it's a seven-game hitting streak back to the last game of the championship series, and this kid has continued to answer every question and every step of the way. He's on to open the fourth. Jordan Alvarez is at the plate. <coughs> Cutter to the corner for a struck. They've been trying to jam Alvarez and really tie him up and not let him get going. And every time you're looking at that thumper in the offense, you've got to keep him quiet. And they have kept him quiet so far. Palmer in each of the first two games of his postseason run for the Astros. They might not be here without him. They might not get out of the division series without him. Well, he's given them hardly anything since. Pops this one in the shallow center for Sosa. See, I'm dropping that. I know they don't do it. Oh, yeah. You trade the runners. You put Alvarez at first, and you get a little speed off the base. It does that. Didn't you say you would do it? You, like you told coaches throughout your career. Oh, yeah. Similar chance to do it. Yeah, I did it, but I blew it. Oh, <laughs> you threw it, the, threw it in the center? Yeah, a little bit. Pop up punt, but no one ever does that anymore. Just because I think the fear factor of... You know, somehow the guy gets on. Well, John, in game two, Zach Wheeler did settle in after they ambushed him in the first inning. Then in the fifth, this guy here, Alex Bregman, cranked a two-run home run against him. Six of those in the World Series in his career. Swings and misses, strike one. Well, the one thing that Zach has done a great job, and it's, it's kind of flirting with with fire but when you're so good at throwing the ball in against a hitter who's so good at damage in he's almost messing with Bregman's mind because no one pitches him like that so if you're good in or third you get him aware of the pitch way in and say I can beat you in where you're really good and so far Wheeler's been able to do that so nobody makes me bleed my own blood <laughs> but he throws me fastballs in here Another fastball. It's followed into the glove, and it's on two. But see, that's what it does. It opens it up. We, Bregman doesn't swing and miss a lot in the strike zone. I mean, it's, it's under 10%. He just does it. But he was able, these two pitches, to get swings and misses. Really good two-strike hitter. Reach base all 12 games this postseason. In first one gone and an 0-2 pitch. Bregman bottles it off. Now that one, he got away with it. And Wheeler kind of turned to the side after he threw it. That pitch was not where that needed to be. Set up inside and got it right down the middle. Lucky he got this one back. See how he set up in, but that center cut. The velocity just beat Bregman with two strikes. Wheeler tries again. This time a spinner, and he's out in front for strike three. Third strikeout for Zach Wheeler, two away in the fourth. The angle of which he delivers the ball makes this pitch even better because you're seeing 97, and then there's that side kind of swing and miss type breaking ball that we don't see a lot out of Wheeler, but when he throws it, the numbers against it are, are awful for him. 
two out, and you're going to face Tucker, who you said you were already worried about if you're a pitcher, and now you, the first time up, you had to show him ten pitches. Yeah, and, and a walk to boot. Uh, Again, when you're in these kind of spots in the World Series, you're just trying to get away from the guy's sweet spot. Like, you don't even mind giving up a hit right here if it doesn't score a run, but you just want to stay away from, obviously, the two-out, two-run homer. We're in a tight game that seems like four runs to score. On the verge of elimination, it's a boot, it's a bouncing ball. Segura charges and gets Tucker to finish off the fourth. Jack Wheeler for the Phillies, Flopper Valdez for the Astros, just as it should be. Deep into the World Series, game six, no score for the fifth in Houston. Better with Pepsi. <sighs> it's the biggest night in politics, and the midterm elections live on Fox News. With up to the minute results on the states, everyone will be watching on November 8th. Don't miss Democracy 2022 on Fox News. Being from Texas, a lot of people wonder are you secretly a, maybe I don't know, a Houston fan? I don't know nothing about Houston. So you would think after being here for eight years, people oh. would uh, get the picture. If I had a dollar for every time I got asked. Washington politicians do nothing but fight. Their radical ideas and extremism hurt us all. What's missing from politics these days is compassion. That's why I'll cut taxes to fight inflation, strengthen Social Security, and help those suffering from drugs and crime. Taxes, inflation, violent crime. We can do better, and we will. Together, we'll stand up to extremism on both sides balance to Washington. I'm Dr. Oz. I approve this message. In 2018, John Fetterman said, I don't support fracking uh, at all, and I never have. Now Fetterman appears confused about his own extreme positions. Uh, I, I, I do support fracking, and I don't, I don't, I support fracking, and I stand, and I do support fracking. Extreme confused. I don't support fracking. I never have. Extreme positions. American Leadership Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. I got knocked down, but I got back up. And I'm going to fight for everyone in Pennsylvania who ever got knocked down. I'm going to fight to always defend democracy, cut the taxes for all working families, and of course, codify Roe v. Wade. I have always stood for those rights, and I will always fight for them. Send me to D.C. and send Dr. Oz I'm John Fetterman, and I approve this message. At every turn, he's hurt people to help himself. Exploiting the sick, pushing scam drugs that didn't work, getting rich off opioid producers, and running cruel experiments on dogs. And if he wins, Oz praised a plan that could cut Social Security and Medicare, raise taxes on working families, while cutting taxes for millionaires like himself. After everything he's done, why would we ever trust Oz in the Senate? SMP is responsible for the content of this app. The 2022 World Series on Fox is presented by Capital One. No score fifth inning, game six. Phillies trying to force a game seven. Astros on the verge of a title. Bottom of the order for Framber Valdez, who's retired seven straight. Oh, nice season in there. Gene Segura, show fun, and put it back to some time. Yeah, if you're the Phillies and this on the road, you got to win the first five innings. At least that's the way you would feel. And so far, even though they're not winning, they're winning the first five innings because it's tied. Their pitcher's matching Valdez. Now, if their offense can kind of scratch anything across, what a lift that would be. Segura grounds one to second. And an easy play for Jose Altuve. One gone in his fifth for every home run hit this postseason. T-Mobile's donating five grand to Team Rubicon's hurricane recovery efforts. And when you tax relief, the 595959. Five, five, T-Mobile donates another $5. 91 home runs hit this postseason. That adds up to $455,000 in donations for hurricane relief. Robert Valdez. Unique. 
left-handed pitcher. Ground ball inducing sinker, the swing and a miss slider. Away with the first one to Matt Beerley. And uh, speaking of unique, the only other left-handed pitcher to strike out five in a row in a World Series game, Sandy Koufax. Beerling is the last guy to reach. He walked on um, four pitches his first time, so he's seen six pitches, all balls. On uh, this 2-0, strike one. Well, the mechanics again, I just fall in love with a guy who has clean mechanics for over, really over the course of time. You repeat know, those mechanics, you shouldn't have trouble throwing strikes. And the only reason he has trouble throwing strikes sometimes is that's such incredible movement on his pitches. And every once in a while, he takes the foot off the gas with his sinker, almost as trying to get ahead without really firing that two-seamer in the zone. Altuve again. Two up, two down. Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Chevrolet. Electric vehicles for everyone, everywhere. And by Indeed. We help people. Game six at 93. Phillies fans for not to be my home run. Two quick outs in this fifth inning. On the night hitter of Mundo Sosa, who had the best swing of the day for the Phillies and just missed the home run. Sure did. Pulls it. 20 feet left. It's gone. Rodan Alvarez, the left fielder, caught it right against the wall, just beyond the profit boxes. Strike one. This is reminding me of game six in 91, where Steve Avery dueled to a 0 0 game, our elimination game. We're down three games to two. Ultimately, one of the ninth, one to nothing. And when you have two pitchers doing this right here, you know the hitters are feeling the pressure too, saying, ah, oh, man, just scratch a run and let our pen late go to work. All Avery did in that series was win two one to nothing. That is a gem of his own. Home with an 0-2 pitch. After he got rocked in both World Series starts last year. Five runs in both games against Atlanta. Failed to make it through the third inning of the year. A year later, game two, six and a third, just one run. Game six, four and two thirds, no runs. Only one hit against him. Another 0-2 pitch. You wonder why pitchers throw balls back out? It's because they don't have the feel. Not every baseball is particularly the same. When you fly out the baseball for that whole life, you could blindfold every pitcher and you can know if it's oblong, if the stitching is too high, or what have you. And you can tell he's sweating pretty good just trying to get control over everything here and, and have another potential clean inning. Here's one, two. The ball fouled off, so severely stays alive. You're talking about the mix of Valdez. This is why it's so hard to hit him. But uh, he's not very tall, but he throws tall. And what I mean by that is the ball comes out of that same slot. You have no idea. You have no idea right there until the end. You have no idea what it is. And you're trying to guess as a hitter. That's why they have a lot of swings and misses out of breaking balls. He's carving through him tonight. Strikes out at Mundo Sosa. Robert Valdez, 8Ks through five scoreless innings. Halfway home in game six. <laughs> Can't be mad. 
Made with Mexican spices, made for nacho cheese sauce, only at Taco Bell. This is what real food looks like. Fresh, real meat and veggies. The food dogs were built to eat. The Farmer's Dog is changing the way we feed our pets. Visit TryFarmersDog.com to see your dog's personalized meal plan. Introducing Fast Protect technology exclusively from Simply Safe, an advanced technology that allows our professional monitoring agents to capture evidence and verify a threat is real for faster police response. There's no safe like Simply Safe. There was this controversial figure. Everywhere he went, people challenged him. They questioned his ideology, trolled him, called him ugly names. But he never took the bait, never raised his voice refused to retaliate because he believed he could change the world by turning the other cheek. Jeez. Ironic. Edelman struggling with reception. Two things I hate dropping. Balls and calls. Well, you need a better network. And Verizon's new Welcome Unlimited plan for just $30 a line. Verizon for $30? Yeah, it's their best unlimited price ever. I'm switching now. I'm getting the network you want for $30? Boom! <gasps> Touchdown! Oh! Everyone can get Verizon for just $30 a line. And now's the time to switch, because you'll get up to $960, only on the network America relies on. Verizon. Or like a, a piece. Let's see where this one takes me. Experience more with hard-to-get tables from Chase Sapphire Reserve. Wow. Chase, make more of what's yours. Thanks for helping me out. Of course. You can easily get helpful customer service over the phone or on the Progressive app pretty much anywhere. Like at the coffee shop, at the park, or on the moon. Just kidding. It's another coffee shop. Well, the hardware is in the house tonight. Astros trying to win it. Phillies trying to force a chance to win it tomorrow. And these two starters back and forth, tremendous. Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Progressive Insurance, a grand slam for your budget. No, for the Astros in this fifth inning. Six, seven, and eight coming up. Christian Vasquez rounded into a double play his first time. Wheeler comes home. Strike one with a fastball. Who's going to blink first? Either starter willing to even think about the bullpen getting going. Over the mound, waiting at second, Jim Segura. And Vasquez is the first out of the fifth. Up comes Trey Mancini, and we go down to Ken Rosenthal. To show Dustin Baker's powers of observation are second to none. Late in game five, Trey Mancini took a 1 1 fastball for a strike. And Baker noticed that from his body language, Mancini was caught in between. The two talked about it today. Baker told him, trust your instincts, have a plan, stick to it. We'll see that conversation earlier today. And after he started the postseason 0 for 18, Base hit, first one against Wheeler, his first time up. Well, if he gets the two strikes again, I'd be shocked if Wheeler doesn't throw the breaking balls to get him to chase off the plate. Only one in that last at bat, and then he gave him a fastball that Mancini gladly touching first base. Euphoric feeling when you're struggling. Deadline pickup from the Orioles. It takes by the hands and it's one and one. Just another example of the touch of Dusty Baker, who's been a manager for 25 seasons. Trey Mancini, one of the 558 players that he's managed. A lot of those guys look at him as either a brother figure or a father figure. And so many people, those former players or opponents of his when he was a player, watching this game from afar, pulling for Dusty Baker. 
The one two to Man City is fouled off. You know what we're going to see Dusty Baker do in this game, I feel? He'll be in the far end of the dugout. If this team doesn't score in the next couple of innings, look for him to change some mojo. I've seen him go down there, change spots, whatever it takes. Another one, too. For the day that he took the job in 2020, Dusty said, this is it. This is my last hurrah. This is my last chance to accomplish the goal. And now in his 3,981st game as a big league manager, he's one win away. Closest he's been since game six in 2002, when he was five outs away. The Angels scored three runs in the seventh, three runs in the eighth to win that game, and then beat his Giants the next night in game seven. A 2-2 to Mancini, a good pitch from Wheeler, two gone in the fifth. We got a full slate of NFL action tomorrow on Fox, highlighted by Seahawks and Cardinals. Check for the game in your area. And on November 13th, one of the biggest games of the year in the NFC. Historic rivals face off in Lambeau, where the Cowboys take on the Packers. You know what I never asked Dusty of all these times we get to talk to him? Uh huh. Are those flavored toothpicks? Have you ever had a flavored toothpick? Yeah, it's fantastic. Way better than the wooden taste. I would think good. Jazz McCormick with two gone. Takes a strike. Well, I'm sure they're going to be watching. Rob's going to be watching to see how strong Wheeler stays with that four-seam and two-seam fastball. I've seen a high percentage of it. And right now, he's not showing any ill effects. The only thing you watch for when a pitcher gets a little fatigued is he starts getting a little lower with his release point flattens out those pitches and it doesn't have the same late life but right now at 61 pitches don't see any signs of that being the case on Zach Wheeler. His 0-2 to McCormick. Fastball got him swinging. Back to back K's to finish off a 1-2-3 fifth and the top of the order for the Phillies coming up. That means Kyle Schwarber when you come back. Best place? Thanks. Been renting five years. <laughs> Did you know? Paying rent can now raise your credit scores instantly. Free. With experience. <laughs> Wait, rent doesn't help your credit? It can now. With experience boost. It worked. About <laughs> time. I'm good. Now rent can boost your credit scores instantly. Free with Experian. Download the Experian app now. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis persists, put it in check with Rinvoq, a once daily pill. When you see got unpredictable, I got rapid symptom relief with Rinvoq. Check. When you see held me back, free remission with Rinvoq. Check. And when you see got the upper hand, Rinvoq helps check. check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid-free remission, and a chance to visibly repair the colon lining. Check, check, and check. Rinvoq can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB. Serious infections and blood clots, some fatal. Cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer. Death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occur. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoq, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UC in check and keep it there with Rinvoq. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinvoq and learn how AbbVie could help you save. The Venture X card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits, like two times miles on every purchase. The noise canceling. You're being too loud. Thank you. Good choice. Oh, my lucky number. Earn five times miles on flights. Going up. And ten times okay. miles on through Capital One Travel. Plus, get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. And maybe see the one and only Taylor Swift. Capital One, what's in your wallet? May God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise, and a blessing in each trial. Team believes in going beyond during times of need. 
And this postseason, for every home run hit, we're donating $5,000 to hurricane recovery efforts. And right now, when you text RELIEF to 595959, we'll donate another $5. Capital One will be donating an incremental 300 grand to the Jackie Robinson Foundation for a season total of 550,000 to support the foundation's minority scholarship and leadership programs. No score to the sixth inning in game six. Top of the order for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber to lead off against Framber Valdez. Well, it's not desperate time yet for Philly, but the way this game is going and each pitcher being on their game and the bullpen that's waiting. You would think in this inning right here, set up for the Phillies, best chance of scoring, and they really haven't had much. Valdez has retired 10 straight. His first one to Schwarber's in for a strike. A little tighter breaking pitch there. Well, that's what he does. He has the ability to short, shorten it and make it big. And is a one. Now the Phillies' two wins in this series have reflected their season-long negatives. Perseverance in game one, power in game three, and for the Astros, the last two wins have done the same. Two runs allowed the last two games by a team that's been led by its pitching all year. Valdez doing it again here in game six. And a shorter one and two. And Schwarber's been in between tonight, and you can't blame him because it's tough to hit. And this guy on the mound is as good as he is. Schwarber, the only way to really kind of combat that is to think the other way, but that's not who Schwarber is. You, you've already seen the 490, 488 foot home run. Full side. On a one two pitch, he takes the ball. Because the reason I say that, and if you don't understand that at home, is if the hitter is thinking middle to away, you stay longer. So staying longer and waiting, and the fastball comes, you're, you're late. So every hitter will tell you, or most will tell you, I'm on the fastball, adjust to the breaking ball. Yeah, well, with a guy like this and the amount of breaking balls he throws, sometimes you go up there sitting on it and get success. Let's see on 2-2. Two -two. It's a fastball, and it's cranked to right field, and it's gone! Astros blink first! Schwarber with a blast, and it's 1-0 in the sixth. It's about as quick a hands as you're going to see when we get a chance to see this replay. Schwarber has been doing this throughout his career. Watch how quick this is. This is the sinker that comes back into the middle part of the plate, and he makes it disappear. You've got to be so quick to the ball right there. And whew, that's what the Phillies needed. First one to score. Schwarber with his third home run in the last four games, his sixth in his last 11 games. And it's 1-0 Phillies in the sixth. You know, I said he's been in between on some of the pitches. He got <clears throat> really caught looking twice, but got the benefit of a call that turned into a walk the next time he struck out. Well, whatever his game plan was the third time, check that off as an execute. Does it again in the postseason. Here's a soft bouncing ball outside. Bregman with a bare hand. What a play by Alex Bregman. got to be so quick on your feet and this play right here is practiced a thousand times in his mind and in spring training and it becomes a staple for most third basemen who are so gifted like Bregman is. One away in the sixth. 
Robert Valdez gives up a home run at home, the first time since July 3rd. Got oh. Paul Bay, strike one on Rio Rizzo. You know what the best part about it? He didn't, he didn't budge. He didn't move. He didn't get mad. Didn't change his emotions. Certainly you don't want to give it up, but... Bregman again, this one much easier. Rio Muto is out number two. Let's go back and look at this pitch sequence on Schwarber. Just first two times he had him baffled, all right? So he starts off with a hard-breaking ball, throws a slower one. Good take so far. That one right there buckled him, but then he came right back with a breaking ball off the plate and a fastball. In her third, and he turned on it and didn't let it come back most experienced guy in the postseason on this Phillies roster. And he told us he addressed the team after they fell behind 3-2 in Philadelphia. The wisdom he picked up in his previous six trips to the postseason. Harper shows up and takes a ball. Kyle Schroeder is his 15th postseason home run. Uh, for Rob Thompson, that's huge. Even though it's only one run, it allows him to manage the game. He's going to manage this game, obviously, as a game seven. So his starter gets in any trouble. He'll have his horses ready to go. We prefer a little more leash than a one run, but at least gives him some momentum to get guys ready to finish this game. I mean, Zach Wheeler was a massive question coming into this game, given the velocity being down last time. But he has answered all those questions. They finally have gotten him some support. Harper turns on a ball down the line, hooking. Foul. He nearly parked one of his own out there. Well, we talked about, you, you've asked me, you know, what's easier when you've had success to pitch again or when you haven't had success in making the adjustment? I think when you haven't had success in making an adjustment, you saw Verlander do it, grind out a win. We, we've seen so far Wheeler do it now and take a difference of his first game to his second game in the field series. Curry gets him to trace. And finishes off the six, but the Phillies break through first. Babe Schwarber again. Started last game with a home run. Starts the scoring here in game six with a home run. It's 1-0 Philadelphia facing elimination in game six. That's half the fun of a new house. Seeing what people left behind in the attic. Well, saving on homeowners insurance with Geico's help was pretty fun, too. Oh, it's time to go, sir. They left a ton of stuff up here. Well, enjoy your house. Nope. No, thank you. Geico could help you save on homeowners and renters insurance. COVID-19. Some people get it, and some people can get it bad. And for those who do get it bad, it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, asthma, or smoking. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, don't wait. Ask your health care provider right away if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. What's Thunderstruck on Carnival? What's Thunderstruck? Thunderstruck is... You guys ready to get thunderstruck? I am. Thunderstruck! You got thunderstruck. One, two, three! You are gonna witness an absolute spectacle. Showtime! Have to go bigger. Are you pulling on my legs right now? No, no, no. Let's go!
It was my son Javis' fifth birthday, and he wanted Chick-fil-A. My husband was a Marine. Her husband's a Marine. Her husband had been gone for almost six months at that time, and I just knew that we had to do something extra special for him. When I get to the door, actually, I was very surprised. We brought the cow out and delivered to them. Do you know who that is? Javis was really excited about it. I wanted to be that extra family for them that night. <gasps> oh, thank you! <laughs> Some things leave you guessing. MailChimp takes the guesswork out of email marketing by analyzing data from billions of emails to offer suggestions for how to improve engagement and revenue. Guess less and sell more with Intuit MailChimp. Zach Wheeler pitching with the lead for the first time. one nothing, bottom of the six, and ball one on Maldonado. 9-1-2 for the Astros after Kyle Schwarber launches his third home run of the World Series. Joins Chase Utley and Ryan Howard as the only Phillies to home run back-to-back games in the World Series. A ball one strong. Wheeler has been all over it. Only two, three ball counts. And that's how you get your team with a chance in elimination. He has almost been perfect. He hits Maldonado. And now you've said it a hundred times this postseason. A leadoff base runner feels like a rally and especially when it comes in front of the top of the order. Yeah, what they're discussing there is that he didn't make an attempt or dove into it. And I don't think he did. And I think this is the right call. We saw before where uh, it was uh, a very obvious lean in. He did pull his arm back, and that's all they can ask for. When you think about getting hit and pitches in. He makes no movement and even goes towards home plate with his elbow. They can make that call difficult. It was uh, Lebnis Diaz who beat the World Series. So we did it. They're challenging and hoping that it hit the bat, but we're going to see real quickly that that's not the case you know you got to make an attempt to get out of the way and you can't make it to where you're trying to get hit and so clearly hit by the pitch and i don't know if they're challenging the fact that you can even challenge them directly making that move to get hit certainly there's no question on whether it hit the bat Review. The call on the field is confirmed. The batter was hit by the pitch. He's awarded first base. And it's not reviewable, the, whether or not he tried to get hit. Right. And so the leadoff man is out. Top of the order is up, and we go down to Tom Verducci. Well, we saw Martin Maldonado last year in the World Series take an intentional walk by getting right on top of the plate. Essentially, he wasn't going to swing. This time, if you notice, he got right up on the chalk line of the batter's box. Almost daring Wheeler to come in with that two-seamer running in on him. Yeah, anything the Astros can get from Maldonado offensively yeah. is gravy. He'll chip in any way he can. And that's right, Tom, because they were pitching and pounding him in. So once you've seen that, I think it was a great move. We don't see hitters move in the box at all anymore. They plant their feet and they stay. Well, Maldonado getting in might have just got him. Altuve, John, has struck out both times. Heavy dose of fastballs. Swap. Very high. All right, so Maldonado, take a look at where he was his previous at bat in the third, and now look at where he is this at bat. Yeah, and that's just great on his part and challenging the pitcher to stay with his game plan by pounding him with the fastball. Well, it worked for him. One ball on strike, so two bay takes ball two. Now we get a fast base runner out there. 
I'll tell you what, that was a gutsy pitch on a 2-0. He came in and I think broke the bat of Altuve. That just tells you what late life Wheeler still has. 2-0 pitch, you're going to a guy's sweet spot. And he's leaning in, break his bat. Certainly not hit hard enough to turn two. And so Altuve is on and Payne is up. We talked about Jeremy Payne answering all the questions that have been asked along this season. He's been the only answer for the Astros for much of this World Series lately. He's four for his last six. The rest of the team is seven for 45 in those two games. Time on the board. Go ahead, run at the plate. Jeremy Pena. This might be Wheeler's last hitter. Alvarado is warming up. Unless there's a double play here, more than likely you'd think he'd come in to face Alvarez. And those throwovers, by the way, to give the big left hand more time. That's not throwing over thinking absolutely he's going to steal. It has a dual purpose. Keep him close and give Alvarado a little more time in the front. Wheeler to Pena. Outside ball one. Twice in this series, as we take a look at our player resume sponsored by the feed, Jeremy Pena has been the last hitter that a pitcher faced. Yeah. But... It hadn't worked out very well. No, there was a reason he became the last shooter. He homered to chase Noah Syndergaard, single to chase Aaron Nola. On this 1 0. Pena grounds one through, base hit center field. And Tubo heads for third. Fearing's throw comes into second. Astros have him cornered. the middle seems simple but not a lot of guys can do it speed on the bases pressure on the Phillies now trying the Astros trying to answer so they've got Altuve in third representing the tying run they've got Pena at first representing the go-ahead run Zach Wheeler's finished Jose Alvarado's coming on to face your down Alvarez We found the right model. Now what would make you feel comfortable with the price? Well, no one made me feel more comfortable than my kindergarten teacher, Miss Jane. This one is special. And this one is also special. What's really special is saying, show me the Carfax value. You'll get the most accurate price based on the vehicle's accident history. Look for me at Stop Over Pay. Shop at the only new Carfax.com. The hexagon, the perfect building block for innovation. Using a patent design and hybrid construction, Hexlab combines the performance of stainless steel cookware with the convenience of non-stick. And that all adds up to this. Welcome to the hybrid revolution. Welcome to Hexlab. Get up, get moving, and gradually reduce grays the easiest way. Just step into the shower with Just For Men Control GF Shampoo. The first and only shampoo that blends away a little gray with every wash. For a subtle, natural look. Control GX from Just For Men. I've always wanted to do that. Next round on me! This is Fubo TV. It's a better way to watch live news, shows, and sports without cable. Watch multiple games at once with MultiView. Try free at FuboTV.com.
What's worse, having erectile dysfunction or having to talk about it? With Roman, we've made it easy to connect with a healthcare professional online. They'll work with you to find the right treatment plan, and if prescribed, your medication will ship discreetly to your door. Roman, let's take care of it. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the Office of the Commissioner of Baseball and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. Well, in just two weeks, the biggest sporting event in the world kicks off. Christian Pulisic leads the U.S. men's national team as they return to the World Cup stage for the first time in eight years. The FIFA World Cup starts November 20th on Fox and FS1. Well, after five scoreless innings, Kyle Schwarber lit the fire with a solo shot to lead off the sixth against Robert Valdez. Astros wasting no time. Maldonado, proud of the plate, got hit by a pitch. He was replaced by Altuve on a fielder's choice. And then a base hit for Jeremy Pena has runners at the corners. Jordan Alvarez coming up. And Jose Alvarado, this is the matchup job they've looked for all series. They're going to have it again. Alvarez facing off with Alvarado. Oh, you want to be a reliever in the big leagues. Uh, the last couple times now, Alvarado has had the bases loaded. Nobody out. Unfortunately, a tough situation. Didn't work out well. Now he's got first and third, one out. Much better situation as opposed to bases holding nobody out, but facing a guy that he is hoping he can either get a ground ball double play or a swing and a miss strikeout to keep this game one nothing. And Alvarado is kind of guy that can do that. He's faced him three times. 0 for 2. He hit him with the bases loaded last time he faced him. First pitch. Ground ball foul. Jordan Alvarez. Walk off home run first game of the postseason. Game winning home run game two of the postseason. Five for 42 cents. 40 at bats since that go ahead home run in game two. Well, he won the battle on the first pitch. He thought he could get him a uh, first strike and looked for him to go to that hard cutter to get a swing over the top barrel, but he was all over that sinker first pitch. Here's the 0-1. Alvarez takes way outside. Rio Muto able to get his run to it. One ball, one shot. Mainly trying to mess up the vision of Alvarado. He's got kind of a big one-way lead, meaning he's jockeying, trying to get Alvarado to think differently that he might be going, even though he's just staying right there. Can Rodon Alvarez come through? When you come in as a reliever, especially late in the game, you're always thinking, how can I get out of the jam? But sometimes you've got to make sure, how can I avoid the big inning? The base is loaded, nobody out. That's two runs or less would be getting out of a jam. Here, at bare minimum, you've got to keep the game tied. Obviously, the best case scenario is you go back in the inning up one nothing. On a 2-1, Alvarez hits a drive center field. Veerling's back. could be the reason they're here and it's his three-run homer 
that possibly could be the reason why they win the World Series. What a blast. And the more you see a reliever in a series, the better chances start going to the hitter. And you saw, he knew right away. Everybody in this crowd knew right away. And unfortunately, Alvarado knew right away. You're not supposed to be able to hit him up there. No. I don't think I've ever... I don't think that was possible. Two all. Ball three. If you can believe it, how many teams wanted your guy Alvarez coming out of Cuba? And the biggest reason why, nobody thought that he'd hit for enough power. In his last two years in Cuba, he hit one home run. And it was an inside the park home run. Then he comes to the United States, keeps working, works all day on his swing, adds the power, starts weightlifting, starts eating better, and now you've got a full-fledged monster who's lying to be a World Series hero. Well, I told you Dusty Baker was going to move positions. You know where he's at? He's got the camera well and throw it down the first base line. Don't tell me that managers are just like players. Had he moved down there before the home run? Yes. Oh, my goodness. The magic touch. That's the Baker. And it's the guy that he has many times said reminds him of a young Barry Bonds. With the biggest swing of this World Series. A 3-2 to Breckman. He's in the dirt. That's ball four. One more look. One more, but for now, another look at a 450 foot shot. 450 feet straight away is like hitting a 500 foot down the line pull. And I'm telling you. It's the loudest this place has been in a while, and certainly. Dusty. Uh huh. home run since the division series if it holds up all three home runs this postseason will be game winners for your Don Alvarez Astros looking for more we've got Brentman aboard in the walk and we've got Kyle Tucker at the plate so Anthony Dominguez getting ready This is how Rob Thompson has managed the entire postseason. This is how he successfully got at the Phillies to this point. That was the matchup they wanted. But seeing him for a fourth time, Alvarez wins the battle. Foul Tucker. Ball one gets away from Rio Muto. And it's unraveling on Jose Alvarado. Yeah, unfortunately for Jose, he's been Mr. Incredible for Philadelphia. Been in almost as many games as you can imagine. Unfortunately, he's inherited five runners in this series, and all five have scored. We talked about the, the three are almost impossible. Bases loaded, nobody out. I don't know many people that can kind of wiggle out of that. And right now, you know he's got to be frustrated. And that guy had no chance of catching a home run ball. Zero. That probability was less than uh, one. They need to get that guy some security. It looks like they already got some security. For him. Uh, that is one you want to hold on to. Well, on a strike on Tucker. Uh, it is so imperative now for Philadelphia to kind of slow this momentum down. And that's why they got their other big time reliever up because they know 7 8 9 against some flame throwing bullpen of Houston. Five scoreless innings. First three weeks against him here in the sixth. Bullpen comes in. The blink and the game has changed. 
tour. You see, I, I know that, you know, the, the hardest part about managing in the, in the postseason is everything gets critiqued, everything gets second-guessed, everything's always micromanaged, and because you said it, this is what he's done. Wheeler at 70 pitches, even though he's given up, you know, just that single up the middle, the matchup called for lefty on left, and it did not work out so far for the Phillies. Okay. And the reason you, you can say that is, is because the feeling and rhythm of a starting pitcher is exactly that. When he's connected, I'll tell you, every hitter will tell you the same thing. You took him out, thank you. Even though the next guy throws 99, thank you. Because it's, it's just you've seen the flow of the game. But it is the way Philadelphia and the matchups of their great left-handed and right-handed combination pitchers have been doing it all, se all postseason. It works until the last two times. Well, the third time through the order penalty is a real thing. That's why the game has changed. You have all these great relievers coming in to protect instead of having a guy face the lineup for the third time. But another penalty is something you're touching on, and that is seeing the reliever time yes. again throughout the series. You just a different kind yeah, of problem. You rarely, you're not going to see a reliever in a regular season in a three-game series three times. You're just not. But in the postseason, in a seven-game series, you could see them four to five times. And that hitter starts gaining info and deep, you know, and taking advantage of it. Talk around 3-2. Browns want to get in foul. The other side of the coin is we think that relievers are immune to just every time they get out there, they're going to have the same stuff every single time. You know how many times they warm up and don't get in or have to rev the engine? So this is what the Philadelphia Phillies have been able to do, and it's why they're here. And Suarez down there in the Phillies' bullpen. Another 3-2. Tucker down swinging. Now, the other side of that coin shot is that one thing that can give the Phillies some hope going later into this game is that even... As dominant as the Astros fan has been all postseason, they're seeing the same guys as well. Thus, the Bakers run the same arms out there throughout this World Series. And as he tries to protect a narrow lead here late, we've got Presley and Montero who have both pitched in four to five games. It's going to do it for Jose Alvarado. Your Don Alvarez, so many monster home runs throughout his short big league career, but a three-run shot that takes a one-nothing deficit. Make for the Astros. One win from a world championship. hair thinning. I'm genetically predisposed. I just gave birth. I was under a lot of stress. I was getting older. I started taking Nutrafol. It's natural and it's clinically effective. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. Within like months, I noticed it becoming stronger and thicker. Nutrafol has taken me back to the hair I was meant to have. I am back to me. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com. I've always wanted to do that. It's found on me. We found a movement because we believe you shouldn't have to choose between a great watch and a fair price. Our watches are uniquely designed in-house, clean, modern watches crafted with top-tier materials. Join the movement now at MVMT.com. This quarterback today.
He looks daring, unafraid, bold, powerful, dominant. Yeah, but what about the tight end? What? It's the most underrated position on the field. Check this out. See, Cletus? You're not the only high-tech machine around here. Yeah, put on whatever you want. <laughs> Always repping, buddy. I love it. Anthony Dominguez, two gone, bottom of the six. That's a big run sitting out there at second as Christian Vasquez takes ball one. What a, what a crazy sixth inning. Right? How much fun is this? I mean, right now, Philly's fans are saying no fun at all, but as a fan of baseball, doesn't get any better. One ball, one strike. You know, there may be some people that have an issue with how this inning started, and I get it. But it wasn't the super intentional hit by pitch. It was just the intentional get on top of the plate with a guy that struggles to get hits. He got hit. And it started a three run. A ball two strikes on Vasquez. Yeah, there's so many things. And you know, you look back at moments in the World Series and you look back and you find that home run ages from now if the Astros hung on the wing of the screen. But so many moments when you swing and look within the yeah. games, within the innings. And Maldonado, that shuttle adjustment from the no offense catcher, starts what at this point is the key rally. And I really thought, again, you know, it's it's not second guessing, but I really thought that Alvarado was going to have to hit a cutter. And he did. He had a, he had a straight down the middle two seamer at 98, 99. It was not the pitch, obviously, that Alvarado was trying to locate. It was a 99-mile-per-hour fastball, which makes it the fastest pitch that Jordan Alvarez has homered on in his career. Base in left field, Christian Vasquez. Redmond heads home, Schroeder can't get it cleanly. Massive insurance run, knocked in by Vasquez. As we said, is a good low ball hitter. Where was that pitch? It was in off the plate, but it was low, and he allowed him to get the barrel of the bat to the ball. Sure, to try to make a do or die play, field it and throw. Don't think it would have mattered, but what a huge two out base hit. And so the two catchers for the Astros chipping in. Throwing individual ways in this sixth inning. You can tell what Maldonado did, and now Christian Vasquez. Just his third start of the postseason. This one coming as the DH. A two-out RBI single to make it 4-1. Trey Mancini. surprised that Hoskins is playing that kind of halfway off the bag and letting Vasquez get as big a lead as he wants. November 13th. November 13th. 
an iconic showdown shaped by history, fueled by passion, a rivalry, reborn. Cowboys Packers, November 13th on Fox. Everything on the line tonight here in Texas with the Phillies in a must-win situation in the World Series. I'm Jason Martinez in Houston. Stay with us for all your World Series post-game coverage. Washington politicians do nothing but fight. Their radical ideas and extremism hurt us all. From politics these days is compassion. That's why I'll cut taxes to fight inflation, strengthen Social Security, and help those suffering from drugs and crime. Taxes, inflation, violent crime. We can do better. And we will. Together we'll stand up to extremism on both sides and bring balance to Washington. I'm Dr. Oz. I approve this message. Tired of high gas prices? There's a fix. With just a stroke of a pen, President Biden can cut up to 30 cents off every gallon you buy by fixing the federal renewable fuel standard. Reforming the RFS would lower your gas prices, protect our nation's fuel supply, and save American refinery jobs. It just makes sense. Fix the RFS. Visit FuelingUSJobs.com to take action. And urge President Biden to fix the renewable fuel standard today. At every turn, he's hurt people to help himself. Exploiting the sick, pushing scam drugs that didn't work, getting rich off opioid producers, and running cruel experiments on dogs. And if he wins, Oz praised a plan that could cut Social Security and Medicare, raise taxes on working families, while cutting taxes for millionaires like himself. After everything he's done, why would we ever trust Oz in the Senate? SMP is responsible for the content of the sale. Pennsylvania, the choice is yours. I only got into politics to make my town a safer place. Oz only moved here to run for office, to use us. I've spent my career fighting for people. Oz has spent his life taking advantage of people, making himself rich. I've taken on the powerful, been different. Oz will only work for himself in Washington, just like the rest. He lies for your vote. I'll never break your trust. I'm John Fetterman. I approve this message and I respectfully ask for your vote. MLB's RBI program is designed to support organizations that provide baseball and softball playing opportunities to youth and underserved communities. Visit MLB.com slash RBI for more information. So this is up to the Astros bullpen, which has been historically good. After Neris. Making his third appearance of the series, ball one on Nick Castellanos. The Phillies have had answers all year. They were eight games below 500 at the end of May. They were the last team into the postseason field. Started their postseason to erase a deficit. That's a strike, that's one one. Ended in the division series, championship series. Came back from 5 nothing. game one of the World Series. Can they take another haymaker and punch back? Again. Or is this the Astros time? Houston nine outs away from the second world championship. One and two on Nick Castellano. You know, the one thing that this series goes longer, you think the Houston Astros gain the momentum and they have the, the advantage. Well, they took the hottest offense at home and they started the last 27 innings really dominating with their pitching. And that's what they're that's how they got here. And their bullpen has been almost unhittable. So they have, when they were down, they have flexed their muscles with their arms and timely hitting. There's Deals, Castellanos. It's off the end of that shallow right center field. Altuve says that he's got it in bounds. Well, the Phillies took a 2 1 series lead by hitting five. Home runs in game three. Christian Javier then comes back and unthinkably has six innings and a combined no hitter. Verlander gets his first World Series win. He got one run over five innings in the front of Valdez tonight, continuing with the identity that his Astros team has been all year. Yeah, it started with that man, Javier. He kind of closed the narrative of this unbeatable team at home in the Phillies. And then look at the Astros have done in the postseason. That is. That's about all you can ask for. That's in 51 and third. And 
four of those five runs came on four solo home runs. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it wasn't anything other than solo home run. The Astros did enough. They only scored so far in this World Series in nine different innings. But it's a crooked number. Six of those are so far. So far. Two on Alec that's been the thing all year. Just enough from the offense. They've not been as good of an offensive team as they have in recent years during this great run. But they've been good. And the pitching staff has been great. Plenty enough to make it all hold up. Boehm, who's one for two today. It's one of the two hits for the Phillies. He's one for three. Harris brings a fastball by This is just, go ahead and hit it, top of the zone, flaming. 94 looking like 98 from the old Philly. Eight years in Philadelphia, didn't get a chance to play in the postseason, hit free agency, his number one priority was going somewhere that he felt like could take him to October. Here in November, trying to provide the bridge to the clinching game in the World Series. James Segura with the bases empty in two out. Late on a fastball, which has been sneaky fast in the zone. Uh, he's staying back over the rubber and letting his fastball go. I haven't really even got to his great split finger that often. You see he's going to hold the grip behind him as a split finger and then when he goes to the glove if he needs to change he changes to a fastball much easier than doing the opposite Gideon, because if he holds the fastball behind his body then he has to do too much to change to the split so anyone who throws splits in the big leagues they will always hold it as a split and then change it in the glove to something else again to pitch. Got him. Hector Neres with a 1-2-3-7. The Astros are six outs away. And now stay tuned for a look at Disney's Strange World in theaters November 23rd. And now, a special look at Disney's Strange World. Strange World is crazy, bizarre, adventurous, mysterious, exciting, thrilling, dangerous, mind-blowing. So many other vocabulary words. But most of all, strange, 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 strange. It's a strange world. Our mission is dangerous. If you want to back out, this is the time to do it. We're the clays. We love danger. They venture into this very strange world. What is this place? the danger around every curve. The cliffs are alive, and the waters will dissolve the flesh off your bones. The flamethrower comes in pretty handy. Can you not show off while we are running for our lives? Grandpa's awesome. He is not awesome. There's a lot of history between Searcher and his father. How are you, my dad? Well, where two people love each other. Stop talking! Stop talking! Wallop on! That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. Did you miss me? Do you mind if I call you Splat? So cute. I want to merchandise it. It's three generations learning to be okay with everyone charting their own course. I love that. I'm loving this family reunion, but come on, we got a world to save. Strange world is beyond your wildest imagination. If you like a good time, you'll love Strange World. Hey, stop pushing buttons. Bad splash. Mm -hmm. Disney's Strange World. Rated PG. Only theaters November 23rd. Get that Friday deals now at Target. Plus, 
four more Black Friday deals all month long. Get low prices and great deals so you can holiday your way only at Target. It's going to be loud. It's going to be noisy. It's going to be raucous. Wait for it. Wait for it. Showtime. Wow! Awful fire! There's a lot of pride on the line. Congratulations. You are the champion. Let the celebration begin. From the second inning. Oh! Ian Tully. Oh, man. Letting out a run. Legendary swing from Jordan Alvarez and an insurance and a base hit from Christian Vasquez. 4-1 Astros to the bottom of the seventh for an organization looking for its second championship. Sports Illustrated famously predicted in 2014 that they would win it in 17. And they did. They've been three times since. Looking for their first title since the 2017 season. Five players remain from the 2017 team. Three position players as they look for their second title and their first one since. Down to the field, here's Ken Rosenthal. Well, guys, a World Series title here would not vindicate the franchise. It would validate what happened in 2017 and 18. The illegal electronic sign ceiling for which the Astros were fined $5 million, stripped of their first and second round draft picks in 2020 and 21. There are some of the same players who remain, but... This is a different team. Some of the heroes tonight, much different. Damian, Alvarez, Valdez, a different manager, Dusty Baker, a different general manager, James Flick. And we are playing under different rules, stricter rules regarding electronic sign stealing. These Astros should be celebrated for who they are. They lead 4-1, bottom of the seventh inning. Chaz McCormick leads off against Zach Gafflin. That's how oh, one of the guys remaining from that 2017 Lance McCullers when the cheating scandal was revealed he said we knew the one thing we could do was win and we could win a lot we understand people still aren't going to like us we knew if we kept winning we'd at least have to start to accept us and a sixth consecutive trip to the championship series this year a fourth world series trip in six years and it's been a touchdown the GM has changed the manager's changed, the roster is almost entirely changed, but the winning has it. And now the Astros are on the verge of an undeniable title. The one two to McCormick in the dirt, two and two. Still have six outs to get. And Dusty Baker's been in this spot before. Leading late. Leading the series 3-2 in game six. Back to 2002, we'll touch it up. We took the Giants against the Angels. Well, if you're going to do something improbable like the Phillies have done in this season to get to this point, you might as well continue that theme and do the improbable against a bullpen that has not given up anything. So Philadelphia counted out. June 3rd. Start of the postseason counted out. World Series. Five logic over and over. Swing and a miss from McCormick. One going in the seventh. And now a quick word from Capital One. Capital One is the official bank and credit card partner of Major League Baseball. What's in your wallet? Martin Maldonado, one of those footnotes to the big six thing. He started it by getting right on top of the plate and getting hit by a pitch. Strike one from Eflin. Maldonado, even though he's one of the worst defensive players statistically in baseball, Astros would tell you he's one of the most valuable guys on the team with his defense or the way that he handles the staff. One of the guys said if we could quantify preparation and leadership, this guy would lead the lead. Let me add in the little wrinkles that he can provide you offensively like he did last inning 
and he's moved back to a normal spot in the box here. It's one and two. On the left is his at bat in the third. Uh, on the right, when he got hit in the sixth. And that's well within the game. I mean, you just don't see batters switch anything. You don't see batters take away sinkers, get up in the box. You don't see anybody move. He hits one in the air to left field, but hooked it off the end of the barrel. Kyle Schrober runs under it two away. And for that, I give him a ton of credit. I mean, it may not look pretty. It might look to some people like, eh, that's not baseball. It actually is in this moment to do something different when you can't, you may be a little bit an underdog when it comes to hitting against, let's say, Wheeler. And it proved to be the inning. Altuve reached on a fielder's choice in that inning. A over three with a couple K's. Astros trying to win a World Series without getting an RBI from Altuve in the postseason. But I just find this so amazing that we set up the series in a way where Alvar Alvarado, the third hitter, has been the has been the target by the Phillies bullpen. But it's been Pena that has made that target harder to be successful because every time they came in to face Alvarado, Pena had done something special. And even though Alvarado was one in four in those situations, it's a pretty good one. Two balls in one strike. Well, the Phillies will hope to capitalize on a similar thing. We're going to see Ryan Abreu likely and be the fourth time that they see him. And then you've got Ryan Presley, who the Astros would have for the ninth inning. And they've seen him five times. Four times they've seen Presley. This will be the fifth. Eflin home with a 2-2. Altuve waits on it. Yanks it to the left field corner. That's down. Altuve on his way to second. With a two-out double. As Schwarber digs it out. Tied for fourth all time with his 103rd postseason hit. But he got a hanger right in the middle of the plate. Hooked it down the line. I think he was content to get the single, and then this allowed him to get the second. And now Jeremy Pena it is MVP case. Two more hits in this game. <laughs> Two seed for a stroke. Who's the guy you're voting? This holds up right now. Is it him or is it from the I, I mean, it. He's gotten hit in every series. Or is it Roberto Alvarez, I guess? No, it's 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 got a, it's between those two. It's between Valdez and Pena, and I would lean towards Pena as much as I'm a pitcher at home. Sitting 417 in this World Series. One ALCS MVP. Tries to become the first rookie position player to win World Series MVP. Two rookie winners have been pitchers. Larry Sherry for the Dodgers in 1959 and LeBron Hernandez for the Marlins in 97. It really is a tough call because we've got a starting pitcher that just gave up two runs and two outings to a really, really good offense. And then you've got this guy playing every day and doing everything. So, you got to pay him. 0-2-2. Chase the breaking ball. And that finishes off the seventh. Phillies have six outs with which to work. Down 4-1, down 3-2 in the series. Sabreu coming in. With no fees or minimums, 
and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. <laughs> Even easier than this. We need a clutch hit. Derek. Derek Jeter. I mean that, rookie. Yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? What will you do? What will you change? Will you make something better? Will you create something entirely new? Our Delta provide you with the tools and expertise you need to do incredible things. There's an innovator in all of us. though. Sure, it's beautiful, but its real power is inside, where it does things other phones can't do, which is how it takes stunning photos in the dark, and why it can edit annoying items out of pictures, or shoot extreme close-ups and unblur faces, why it'll even put some of that genius in your ears, or on your wrist. Beautifully, of course. Introducing the new Google Pixel Watch, Google Pixel Buds Pro, and our newest Google Pixel phones. No way! I couldn't miss your chance to get Francisco Lindor's autograph. Big fan. But now you're going to to sign your paycheck. I need Indeed. Indeed you do? When you upload your resume to Indeed, you get personalized job suggestions based on your skills and preferences. So you'll be back in the game in no time. Yeah! 48. 49 50 Got it? There's a better way to bring the game home. Visit MLBShop.com for today's special offer. Pretty quick players will stack the most total bases each day during the postseason. Compete to win 50 grand through MLB Base Chase and the MLB Play App or through MLB.com slash play. Restrictions apply. See official rules for details. Eighth inning, 4-1 Astros. They lead the series three games to two. They did the game by three. Ryan Abreu is on, and Bryson Scott will pinch in for Matt Fielding. Strike one. You know, they talk about, you know, in NASCAR, how much more force power your car has. You know what? The Astros have in the bullpen a ton of force power. A 98-mile-an-hour fastball and a slider that's virtually unhittable out of Abreu. They put 98 in play to stop, but Bregman quick hands as the hot corner proves to be exactly that. I mean, this is the hot corner. It didn't come off quite as hard, but still, when you're in, you got to have good re have good reaction. An out and out. Now there's only five left. Another pinch hitter here, with the righty on the mound. Here is Brandon Marsh. Try to get some traffic ahead of the top of the order. The Phillies since hitting five home runs in game three. Have scored just three runs on nine hits since. They are nine for their last 93.
I mean, every club's looking for a guy like this, right? I mean, they, they want a full pen full of them. And there's so many great arms in the game today. Houston just happens to have a lot of them. Abreu's 2-1 is hit in the air to deep right center field, but Tucker settles under it, and Marsh is out number two in the eighth. A quick word from Evan Williams Bourbon. Postseason calls for award-winning bourbon. Evan Williams, 1783 small batch. And Brian Abreu didn't even start playing baseball until he was 14. He was a basketball player. He had very little time for sports anyways, because from the time he was 11 or 12, he was working two jobs to help his family out. He was working in construction, working with his uncle, who was a mechanic. And when he played baseball, he was a hitter and an outfielder, and then somebody said, why don't you give pitching a try? Changed his life. Here he is in the eighth inning, where he and the Astros hope is the clinching game. Kyle Schwarber. Strike one. Wicked rip. And a wicked pitch. Started this postseason, he couldn't look more lost. But boy, he found it in the right time, and he found it and got back locked in to being the most dangerous left-handed hitter to lead off a game with power. Not exactly his feet, but the kind of guy that uh, makes you uncomfortable right away as that starting pitcher. Started the postseason one for twenty, six home runs and eleven games since then. But in a one and two hole here. strikes, pops it up, back, and strike three. And the Houston Astros are three outs away from their second World Championship. T-Mobile won't raise the price of your talk, text, and data. Plus, families get over $225 in benefits every month. You know you don't have to wear your PT gear anymore, right? It's comfortable. So I have civilian life treating you. It's fine. When I got out, I didn't want to admit that there was anything wrong because I felt like a failure. And then I realized, like, there's nothing to be ashamed of. So I started talking to someone. Maybe you are fine. But if you're not, it's okay. Thank you. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov slash reach. Mercedes-Benz is turning electric. Completely. On its head. Bringing legendary design and state-of-the-art technology. for a shot. If we don't love it, we get our money back. Spoiler alert, love it! Sweeper's heavy-duty dry cloths grab dust and hair and lock it away. Better than my room that can push it around. It even gets into hard-to-clean grooves and grout lines. Cool. And Swiffer Duster gets in all those hard-to-reach places, trapping three times more dust. <laughs> yeah, switching a Swiffer, totally worth it. Love it or your money back. Discover Card could reduce the number of unwanted calls and emails. 
Introducing Discover Online Privacy Protection. Discover will help remove your personal data from 10 popular people search websites. Online Privacy Protection. New, free, and from Discover. Are we here to win? Or are we here to enjoy some crisp barefoot Pinot Grigio? Sure, wine and football can be complicated, but enjoying them should be easy! Yeah! Well, let's enjoy ourselves! Dusty Baker, who originally signed with the Atlanta Braves out of high school, broke into the majors, back behind Hank Aaron, got traded to the Dodgers, where he won a championship as a player in 81. He's managed five franchises. He's taken them all to the postseason. More than 1,800 hits, more than 2,000 wins. The only other guy that can say that, Joe Torrey. The only thing missing, a ring as a manager. And here in his 25th year, 2,093 wins under his belt, the most of any manager without a world championship. Finds himself, as Astros find themselves, three outs away. David Robertson on the hand at the bottom of the eighth. Paul uh, Jordan Alvarez, who at this point has the swing that they'll always talk about in this game six if this score holds. Bryson Scott stays in the game and plays short. Brandon Marsh in the game in center. One and two on Alvarez. Three run homer in the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. That's a dream. That was game one. Two run homer on the Luis Castillo. That was in game two. In between there, it was some rough go. There wasn't some locked in. You'd think he'd be locked in. Some days off take you away from your rhythm. In game six, third swing, or third big swing of the series. Down swinging here, and they ain't going to remember those. No. Strikeouts and they're 5 for 42 in the middle of the big swings. They remember the big moments, the moments that last. And he's got a few of them. Now for the Phillies in the ninth inning, but I'm 2, 3, and 4 coming up against Presley. Astros looking to add on a little bit here with part of their lineup. Bregman spins this one back foul. Uh, Dusty, you were talking about this earlier, it has friends all over the world. Uh, it's really not hyperbole to say that. 54 years in the game, that's 54 years of teammates and foes and all those players that played for him. Outside the game, it's a list of who's who. I mean, he's friends with Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg. Friends of Joe Namath, Rob Lowe. He once partied with Jimi Hendrix. And he surely got friends up in heaven, up and down, form and form too. Everybody from Central Page to Hank Aaron to Tommy Lasorda. O2, ball one. And no bigger fans up there watching than his parents. Thus he said before the game today, when he does let himself reflect, on this whole thing. If it does get to this moment, where he's able to get what he's always wanted, that's who he's going to think about first, his parents. Including his mom, Christine, who passed away in January. Two and two on Alex Stroud. So he'll think of them. Countless people are thinking of him. Robertson's 2-2. Full count on Bregman. most of the damage. They did it again. Yep, four runs have scored. Top four in the lineup. 
And 3-2 is a curve, and it's hooked into left field. A base hit for Bregman. Schwarber grabs it. Bregman on his way to second. Schwarber's throw. Not in time, and a double for Alex Bregman. Well, we see this replay. I think it's going to be an incredible slide by Bregman. Schwarber made a nice play and a throw that got on the right side of the bag, which made Segura have to swing around and put the what looked like an easy tag of an out, but watch him pull that outside hand to the outside part of the bag. Ooh. Wow. It's going to probably bow and out. Look at the, this is the sweep tag across the bag. And that hits his finger. Hmm. What a shot. What a crew we're lucky enough to have with Fox Sports. What uh, flexibility he's wishing yeah. to have on that finger. <laughs> aye, aye. Oh. Playing the waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> That means more than one thing at this point. The call here. And the celebration. I hope he's coming shortly. So what? That finger's got him stinging right now. Well, he's got like five months to rest it. They can hang out here. James, an expert, broke his finger earlier this year. Pass out some place to Alex. Got to heal it fast. This is obviously a big call here. They're going to be sure that they're going to get it right. After Bregman, it's Tucker. Ashley's got four runs in the six. Try to add on here in the eighth, and here's your call. Tucker with you. The call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. So as the Phillies come up in the ninth inning looking for a miracle rally, keep that one in mind as they face Ryan Presley. Well, tomorrow you've got a chance to win a hundred grand of Terry Bradshaw's money on Fox Bet Super 6. Just get the free Super 6 app on your phone now and enter your six picks in the NFL Sunday Challenge Contest. Two out, and here's Tucker. Timelessly cool, that man. 73 years old, Dusty Baker. One ball, one strike on Tucker. And his poser, Ryan Presley. Five out saved in game five. Off day yesterday, came at a good time following that. Ready for his chance to lock this one down. Looking for his first three. Shot foul one and two. Oh my. Took out over there, huh? Took it out of the glove. Put it in the dugout. Astros trying to do something that's not been done in almost a decade. That is clinch at home. Last thing to clinch at home, the Red Sox. In 2013, nine years ago, last time that happened. Tucker pops it into center field. Schwarber will make the call and the catch. 
fasten those seat belts. To the ninth inning, we go in game six. Two, three, and four coming up for the Phillies. Ryan Presley coming on with the Astros three outs away. Jeez. Oh, Ironic. Edelman struggling with reception. Two things I hate dropping. Balls and calls. Well, you need a better network. And Verizon's new Welcome Unlimited plan for just $30 a line. Verizon for $30? Yeah. It's their best unlimited price ever. I'm switching now. And getting the network you want for $30? Pull! <gasps> Touchdown! Oh! Touchdown! Everyone can get Verizon for just $30 a line. And now's the time to switch because you'll get up to $960. Only on the network America relies on. Verizon. Mm. To name yourself after the highest peak in North America? Maybe that's audacity. But towering above is exactly what the first ever all-electric GMC Sierra EV Denali Edition 1 is built to do. With 754 horsepower and up to a GM-estimated 400 miles of range on a full charge, it is the Denali of EVs. The Sierra EV Denali. Es casi cielo, llega la casa, toda la costa, montaña sin contar. Hay por nuestra forma de vivir la vida. That's the thing about claims, you see, they, they don't happen on your schedule. I mean, take a chestnut. It doesn't just say, oh, beg pardon, sir, there's now a good time for a jolly bit of window cracking. Oh, I mean, if they did, you wouldn't need a Geico claims team that's available 24-7. But, near as I can tell, chestnuts don't talk. Well, maybe they're just really quiet. Geico, your claims team is here for you 24-7. Well, I've got things to do, Mr. Chestnut, so... Uh, Peaceful stick. Full plate. Wait, are you my blind dink? Dancing crew, trip for two, nail the final interview. Buy or lease. Masterpiece. Inside joke. Artichoke. Game with Doug. Brand new mug. Come here, kid. Give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. Boosters designed for COVID-19 variants are now available. Brought to you by Pfizer and BioNTech. When you get Domino's delivered, you can get any two or more mix and match items for $6.99 each. And now we're adding $6.99 Parmesan bread bites and what happened to the other lava cake? Sebastian? Yeah, that's weird. Get two or more mix and match items delivered for $6.99 each. Ryan Presley got a five out save in game five. He's on there for the ninth inning. Astros three outs away from a world champion. This guy has been Dynamite. Yeah, he has. And it's really. Ladies don't hit it. In the year, it's only 138. It got even better in the postseason. 111. Having trouble with the uh, pitch count here. The device in his app that lets him hear the signs for Martin. Not often that happens in your home uh, stadium, but not often you pitch in any home stadium with a chance to win the World Series. To get this figured out. Reminds you that the World Baseball Classic is back, an exclusive on Fox, all beginning March 2023. Go to worldbaseballclassic.com for more information. And man, there's been play for Team USA. He's going to bat third in this ninth inning. It's Hoskins, Rio Muto, and Harper against Presley. Well, to state and obvious, uh, every closer knows, no matter what the situation is, get the first hitter out. Who is over for his last 13? Swings and misses. Strike one. You grind hard no matter what the circumstances are. Game. He has three runs to work with. But you don't want that leadoff guy to get on. A little bit outside. One ball, one strike. Ryan Presley came over at the deadline in 2018. So he's looking for his first ring. So many of these Astros are. Presley's 1-1 one, one pitch. Bounce foul and it's 1-2. Well, 
Again, if you haven't seen Presley throw much, he doesn't throw anything straight. Everything cuts. He has tremendous spin on his pitches. So a cutter that is going to be his version of a fastball, and then he throws a to curve that is so fast that it breaks so quickly the hitter has really little time to recognize it. Hoskin started the ninth. Pops it up. Tucker. Astros, two outs away. You know what, we talk all the time, and we, we, we mentioned what this would mean to the players, what it mean to Dusty Baker. You know who we forget that it means the most to, probably? The fans. Mm -hmm. The home fans here that get a chance to get one without any aspects. Fans deserve it. Town deserves it. 4-1 in the ninth inning. Bases empty, one gone. J.C. Real Muto lines the ball into center field, and the Phillies have hope. Real Muto with the first hit since Schwarber's home run in the sixth. And that's why getting the first hitters out, out is so huge, because now with a runner on, you're always one pitch away from getting out of the inning for the double play. And you also know that this man can't tie it up. When you're a closer, you don't care about your sexy stats. You just care about walking in to end the game before they tie it up. And look back to that insurance run brought in by Christian Vasquez with a two-out base hit. Moving yeah. large now instead of Harper. Tying run. Tying run in the on-deck circle in the form of Nick Castellanos. Harper is 0 for 3 here in game 6. He slices a pop in the left. Jordan Alvarez. The Astros are out of the way. They won their first World Series in their 56th year in 2017. They got back in 2019. They won 107 games that year. They led the World Series 3-2 and then fell short. Last year, last year they got there again. They were favored again. And fell to the Braves. Another shot. And out of way. And a lot of cell phones out to capture the moment. Castellanos. his ring in his 25th year as a manager guy that brought credibility and stability back to the Astros in the wake of the scandal you know, it's been in baseball for more than 50 years he's a baseball legend he's a beautiful human being and he has the ring that everybody wanted him 
the floor. You know, you're through the Astros and that four or five players we're talking about as you watch this replay. Everything comes full circle right here. And you feel like you're stuck in quicksand. There's so much over your head, so much explaining, and it carries over for a long time. Well, you know what? They got out of it. And Dusty Baker got out of his. And what a moment for Houston and what a moment for the city. You know, Dusty Baker was a finalist for the Phillies job, and they hired Joe Girardi in 2020, and he was crushed when he didn't get it. And he goes back home to California, and he talks with his son, Darren, and Darren says, Dad, maybe you weren't supposed to get that job. Maybe you've got to be patient to go where you're meant to be. A week later, the phone rang. It was the Houston Astros. The right man at the right time for the right team. Now, world champion as a manager for the first time as the Astros beat the Phillies in six games in 2022. Down to that party. Here's Ken Rosenthal. Thanks, Joe. Jose, you were on third base when you were hit that three-run homer. What did you think when you saw that ball travel 450 feet? You know, obviously, I knew as soon as he hit that one, it was a big, big fly. First time I see that in this ballpark. But, you know, I just was happy because I know how good our guys are in the bullpen. And, you know, by that time, I, I thought 3-1 would be a good lead for us to give us a chance to win the game. But then Christian came out behind him and get the big, uh, our, the fourth run. And, you know, like I said, we're just happy that we won. Dusty Baker, what does he mean to this team? You know, him, he means everything. Like I said many, many times, he came here at the right time and, you know, came here in the right team and, and, and won his first uh, World Series. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Now over to Tom Verducci. Thanks, Ken. Martin Maldonado, whenever they talk about the 2022 Astros, they'll talk about the rally that began with you. Tell me about your approach with Wheeler, against Wheeler, leading off the inning, and how you moved up closer to home plate, and why. You know, it, it was running that sinker in really good. Uh, through all the game, we were chasing sinkers in. So I know, I, right there, I got to get on base. You know, my job leading off, got to get on base. So I said, let me get close, as close as I can. Don't move. Hopefully, hit you. Martin, every game in this series, your pitcher struck out at least 10 batters, 12 more today. Describe the job that this entire pitching staff did to win the World Series. Well, they, they, this pitching staff been amazing all year. The bullpen, our bullpen, been really, really good. The front of battle through um, first couple of innings, but he settled down. Um, you know, we believe in each other. They, 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 they trust me, they trust them, and uh, you know, I'm just super excited for the moment. Okay, thanks so much. Congratulations. Go enjoy it. Thank you. Back to you, Joe. Well, the Astros do it. A cautionary tale of 2019. They came back home with a 3-2 lead. They sealed the deal. They don't mess around. around. They don't let it get to a game seven. With a sixth inning where they score four runs right after Kyle Schwarber put the Phillies in front. And inspired hope in Philadelphia that this could get to a seventh game. But they had the response immediately in support of Framber Valdez and in support of Dusty Baker. A champion for the first time. Back down to Ken Rosenthal. Thanks, Joe. Jordan Alvarez, that was the fourth time this series you faced Alvarado. How much of a difference did that make? Your parents were here tonight. How much does it mean to you, Jordan, that they were able to see this? 
padre estaba aquí hoy, ¿qué tanto significa para ti que ellos pudieron ver esto? No, mucho, mucho. Obviamente no estaba teniendo una buena serie de mundial y la, y la fe que ellos siempre me brindaron, que confiara, tuviera confianza, que iban a salir bien y salieron. Sí, yeah, great. great. Um, obviamente, I wasn't having a great series, but they always put all their faith in me and thankfully we were able to do this. Good night, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Joe, back to you. Kenny, this has already been a special run for him because for the first time he's been able to share with his parents who until this August couldn't get to the United States from Cuba. Got here in August. They've been here since. They just went.